and we are live. Thank you for joining us on our Friday night Deadlands Hell on Earth post-apocalypse live stream. Phenom extravaganza. It's a spectacle that surely will be engraved in South Dakota alongside Mount Rushmore, the faces of confusingly perhaps St. Louis, Sabrina, Frogfinger, and Samson etched alongside the Founding Fathers desecrating the sacred lands of the First People. Um, what I'm saying is that it will be truly... Uh, uh, you know, when 30 years from now, y'all are wearing, like, Frogfinger t-shirts and your kids are, like, ironically into the Lore Explorer's Hell on Earth, like, you know, retro, right? You'll know why, because you were here and you were... It was like, you know... The first time you heard the wall or something. No, all right, that's some bullshit. But thank you for joining us. I'm Will Thompson. I'm the marshal here this evening and every evening at the League of Gentlemen Explorers. With me are my four friends here to take you through the wilds of the Wasted West. I, too, need a Frog Finger t-shirt. We actually, didn't we, we had a good t-shirt idea for just a second. I was going to pop out and then I totally forgot it with the other things. You know, because merch is super important for a channel with nine viewers. But that's neither here nor there. What is both here and there is that uh, our scavengers have found themselves uh, skipping a whole goddamn narrative arc by very intelligently using the uh, psychic Melvin. Uh, yes, one second. Excellent. GM wife. Yeah, everything's cool. Everything's cool. Nothing's going on there. It's, uh, yes, but, uh, very intelligently using Melvin to, uh, skip a whole narrative arc where they had to go to a bunch of spots and see whether or not the big bad was there. They just, you know, he used his psychic powers to hover along and follow the undead back to the Blessed Respite Memorial Hospital where they found the flat boat of the two explorers that had been sent out, looking uh, tentatively for Ishmael, uh, and perhaps the uh, doctor, that Janice, that has found herself... Uh... Oh, no, wait. No, yes. Ha-ha! But I have three hours of sleep. I'm just going to preface this whole episode by saying I've had three hours of sleep, so uh, it's going to be zany. Get ready for that. But... They find themselves at the Blessed Respite Memorial Hospital, where they find the other flat boat with uh, two of the hoses connected to the oxygen tank leading down into the dilapidated basement through the uh, inky black waters into the abyssal depths of the unknown. Uh, and uh, they also find a data slug that they put into Frogfinger, and uh, have transcribed, I should have done it in Frogfinger's voice, but no, in the actual, the, the, you know, the German scientist accent, of course, where a man describing himself as Dr. Joseph Delacroix, right, has decided to perform a self-autopsy in the hopes of making himself harrowed. And uh, there was, uh, you know, some grisly self-mutilation noises and some screaming and then wet dripping sounds on the tape. And then some rumbling, which you, you know, are led to assume is the earthquake that leveled this whole region here. Just what a coinkadink, right? But now, in order to hopefully locate the missing compatriots from the stack so that they can get back there in time to evacuate it from the nuclear holocaust that they... You know, now, I don't want to say they caused, like, certainly, because, I mean, that would be an overstatement, wouldn't it? That would be, that would be, you know, um, crass of me to say that they caused the impending nuclear holocaust that's causing the local civilian populace to have to leave the only place they've ever known as home. Because, I mean, you know, that certainly didn't happen. What I will say is that they were made aware of an impending nuclear holocaust and managed to alert the citizens of the stacks before it became an issue and which would have taken their life. So really, 
if you think about it and don't watch the video on demand on YouTube, they're, they're the heroes here. They're the real, they're the good guys, right? So, but that being said, they do find themselves outside of this dilapidated hospital, lying in ruins, the wall facing them, having crumbled, revealing the multiple stories, black like a tombstone jutting up from the flooded grounds. And... I bet you they hope I forgot the question, huh? Question? I was just hoping you were tired enough that yeah, just you were going to have mercy. Just tired enough that I was going to have mercy. Should I be merciful in the name of being tired? I know when most people are tired, you know, they, they get less irritable. They, they're like their mercy builds up within them. They, their, their charitable spirit wells within the, you know, the vestiges of their soul. And they find themselves, uh, you know, acting and, you know, uh, philanthropically at all times. Mm hmm. Favorite color? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Mm hmm. What is your character's favorite fact? Now, I don't have a favorite fact, per se, but I have one that creeps me out that I oftentimes think about. In 1938, at the very height of Nazi popularity in Nazi Germany, less than 10% of the German populace were card-carrying Nazis. The rest of them were just keeping their heads down, and look what happened. Not a favorite fact, but certainly one that I reflect on a great deal. Not more now than other <clears throat> times, for whatever reason, you know. Hmm. I think I've got one. Samson's fun yeah. fact of the day. <laughs> Samson's fun fact. The tropical fungus, or phidias, infects ants' central nervous system. By the time the fungi has been in the insect's body for nine days, they have complete control over the host movement. They force the ant to climb trees, then convulse and fall into the cool, moist soil where the fungi thrive. There. Excellent. Look, cordyceps. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Excellent. The um, zombie fungus that... There are several that are each specialized to a single species of insect, believe it or not. Hundreds and hundreds. that uh, They just eat this one type of grasshopper. They just infect this one type of ant. It's very The Last of Us. Fun fact, who's next? I guess Frogfinger will go. Frogfinger's favorite fact. Rats can have as many as 20 baby nuggets at a time. 20 nuggets at a time, ready to eat. And they come in their own packaging. That's the best part, right? No waste. Hmm. I think you might be muted there. You're still talking, oh, no, Frogfinger. I, just, I, okay. didn't, I did not say anything. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Rats can lay up to 20 nuggets at a time. All your all your answers are rat related. Are that's like that's got to be like six out of seven have been rat related answers at this point. I mean that's that's pretty much all he really thought about, mm -hmm. other than machines. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Ooh, you should make yourself a mechanical rat. That would be the final form. Rat finger. Although rat finger starts to sound like a deviant sex act for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, let's see. A Saint, fact. St. Louis's favorite fact. Oh, man. Um, I don't know about favorite. Yeah. Roxanne doesn't have a favorite fact, I don't think. Um, mm. Fun let's, fact. Let, let's keep on the creepy, I guess, and mm -hmm. the crawlies. And I'll just say St. Louis's um, favorite uh, fact that he often remembers is that um, even irradiated bed, bu bed bugs and mutated bed bugs, once killed, still walk around trying to go through the motions of what they were doing when they were alive um, until their body finally gives out. Nice. And that he's had to fight irradiated bed bugs before. We're just going to say that. Nice. 
Nothing like a uh, simple neurological system that allows the independent systems to function discreetly and autonomously until they lose hydraulic pressure, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. excellent, excellent. And last but certainly not least, fun fact from Sabrina. Oh, it feels like a kind of a cop-out, but like uh -oh. simple facts like humans, human flesh, you know, like looks like chicken but tastes like pork or, or there's like over seven feet of epidermis on like an adult human body you know like i think things like that are kind of what what get her you know interesting that tracks that tracks uh, so, human anatomical facts kind of on the same level know, there with the rat nuggets you know yeah yeah slightly mm -hmm. i mean mm -hmm. you know what did i have to do for a while right that's fair that is fair Fair. Excellent. In fact, they used to refer to, refer to human meat as long pork because of the similarities in pork with the exception of the muscle tissues being, of course, lengthier given the length of our limbs. Fun really? fact. Awesome. Adding that to the memory adding... banks. I, I fully assume that our four characters divulge these facts in the boat ride to the hospital. Right, and right. Just looking at time. each other very questioningly at this point. Mm -hmm. Like, we're just going to go our separate way. You know, it's, uh, you know. But, so the edifice of this hospital, right? Uh, once a, uh, you know, proud monument to, uh, you know, uh, uh, medicine is now in a sad state of affairs. Uh, there's a uh, growth, long dead, climbing up one of the walls where uh, clearly there was a rad storm or something that had killed it off. Uh, it's caved in and far too loose form rubble to attempt anything uh, resembling a climb, especially with somebody uh, with Samson's particular, uh, you know, build as... <laughs> <laughs> See, that works on a couple of levels. But, as you guys uh, look around and hear the dripping of water and the gentle lapping of it against the soggy little bit of land that you find yourself, I will need a notice roll from everybody. I see nothing. You see nothing?! Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Frogfinger and Sabrina, uh, perhaps turning away from the hospital for a moment and panning your eyes back down to the boat, you catch uh, something in the water line below the surface. It's hard to tell at first. Pale tendrils, right? Uh, uh, creeping up, and then it's suddenly apparent that they're waterlogged fingers and hands and wrists and they're grabbing the side of the craft, first one, then another, and then a dozen, and they seem to be attempting to drag it under the water. Uh, you can't make out any of the faces due to the murk, but there must be a dozen entities <clears throat> down there pulling at the boat. Strong enough that you can hear the metal in the screws holding the boat together start to squeak and strain. Question? Yes. Did you say this is our boat or the boat we were investigating? Your I boat. My, I was going to question. Okay, I am uh, notifying I everybody off. quickly. <laughs> is there a nearby solid <laughs> surface that can... Yes. Yeah, so you guys pulled up to like a, a little beachfront, you know, a soggy mm -hmm. little uh, boggy ground patch, right? And then walked probably 25 feet to where the and other boat was beached. She turns around and the creaking of metal... Guys, guys, like, it's really what? hard to get what? your attention. What? Look, look, look at her boat. Look at her hand. What the hell is They're that? Back. I slowly start walking that direction. Oh, probably God. Probably futilely. Uh, everybody capable of experiencing fear that has witnessed the dozens of uh, <sighs> pairs of hands tugging at the boat, please give me just a flat spirit roll. Oh, I actually forget if I experience fear. You do not. Okay. Excellent, 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 Sabrina. Uh, you are unable to respond to 
you go, oh my god, and then there are hands pulling and grabbing and tugging. Everybody else, though, we're going to have to, uh, what would, now there's two boats here, right? There's the other boat with the hoses leading into the basement of the hospital in your boat. So if this one is destroyed by some force, right, uh, you still tentatively have another boat. Uh, yeah. I'm still going to start moving towards the other boat and see if I can rest it away from the hands. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, in order to get over there, right, I am going to need an agility roll and a negative one. Okay. Does that go for all of us if we want to go? Uh, everybody that would like to go over there. All right. Whoever gets there first will be taking point, and anybody else would like to assist will be more than able to. Frogfinger, that sucks that your point, man. But that agility acrobatics, yeah, he, boom, one big leap. He's over by the boat. So, Frogfinger, uh, sailing majestically through the air, it occurs to you that it's probably going to be an opposed strength roll to, uh, you know, steep these things from dragging the boat under. And since you're the point person, anybody else is able to assist you in the strength roll, but in doing so, we'll only be able to apply a modifier based on their number of raises. And it will be a strength roll at a negative four, because there are several pairs of hands tugging this boat into the murky darkness. All right, so do I roll mine first? Uh, no, we get the support roll from whoever is okay. the supporting character first. Who would, uh, obviously, Jimmy. Samson, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm assuming you are going to use strength for your support roll? Oh, of course. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just grab the boat and he picks me up by the feet. Yeah, you're, holds you're, you're holding the boat. He's holding your feet. Go ahead and give me a strength roll, Samson. That's yeah. a yikes. That's a single success plus two, so your strength roll will happen at negative two, Frogfinger. And yeah, that's... That's a... Uh, yeah, no... Uh, you pull mightily on him, Samson, grabbing his back legs, but he doesn't have the hands. I mean, you whoop, and he lets go of the boat, and the back end of it slips below the surface. One of the pontoons ruptures, and the thing starts to list dramatically. Hmm. Interestingly, a notice roll from the two of you, and perhaps, uh, yes, yeah, St. Louis, now that you are there as well. Start hacking at some hands if I can reach him. Uh, so, certainly. Not uh, a roll. You, uh, it would probably require you either being on the boat or getting in some depth of the water. And uh, I am not sure that either... I mean, you certainly can, but there's some writing here that I'm just going to forewarn <laughs> you about. Sure, yeah. No. Um, the, uh... Um, interestingly, Samson, the second that the right pontoon pops... All of the hands on that side of the boat slip below the surface and disappear. Instant poof. Hmm. Uh, I guess I convey this interest, interesting development to everyone else. I'm just watching from afar. Like, I wonder if they're being directed by something like a hive mind. Uh, yeah, I yell. <laughs> Uh, is Melvin over by Sabrina? Uh, yes. Melvin, what do you sense under our boat? Or did you sense something? The same thing we followed. Okay. But so it could many. Be, it, okay. Okay, I was going to say, if it was the same thing we followed, then it feels like whatever we're tracking may have many... Many members, but one whole. Well, now let's put together the facts as we understand them due to Sabrina's delicious foot snack, right? Oh. These corpses have uh, been autopsied, right? Y incision on them, the one that you examined at least was. And on removing the toe, uh, you seemed to uh, undeanimate it, as it were. You found yourselves at a hospital now with a man performing a self-autopsy, 
right? It doesn't seem like too much of a jump to assume that perhaps Captain Self-Autopsy might still be indulging this particular bit of curiosity. Hospital oh, of Dr. Yeah. Joseph Delacroix. And uh, the hospital, he said, is par partially submerged. Yeah, well, so, like, the uh, the basement level is submerged. And that's where the hoses from the boat you rolled up on lead to. They instantly go beneath mm. the surface of the water. And who knows? And there's two spare suits I have in my notes, I believe. Yeah, there are four hoses oh. total <clears throat> on their boat. Two of them down in the water. Two spares just sitting there. Good to go. You two, you two mouth breathers should put those on. I don't, I'm not going down there. Did you just see those hands? That? Exactly. We need to take care of this. That's why we are here. Can't we find a different way? Like. Go ahead. I just stand there. Wait for them to find another way. Why can't you go down there? I'll, you put, this, I'll put a suit on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, by suit, it's literally. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. It is like a, a respirator mask and a strap that leads to yeah. a hose. Like, there is no... It's not a bucket that just sits over our head. Yeah, pretty much. It's just a bucket that... Mm -hmm. uh, so does it protect my eyes? Uh, no, it does not. It is literally just mouth. It's God. used by the salvaging crews, right? When they come across a, you know, a particular pot of city ruins that's underwater that looks like it might have some good wreckage. They dive on it using that. Generally, there's people on the boat keeping watch and guard, you know. But well, Now, the basement of the hospital does appear to be a separate body of water, you know? Like, because sure. the hospital itself is surrounded by this, bo this marshy, swampy, saturated land strip of land. And then the hoses go into the basement of the hospital. Uh, okay. If somebody wants to give me a... Uh, anybody got any investigation... I do. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. shit. There no. we go. I'm doing it too. Fucking investigating because I need a bit different way and make sure these bucket of bolts help us. <laughs> oh, you're so angry. Excellent. So, I don't go uh, both of you have succeeded on your investigation role. Uh, it appears as though the double doors that lead to the basement were recently pried open, right? Well, now, they're weathered from the years of standing out here in the radioactive wastes. But the spot right around the locking mechanism, the paint there is friendly, freshly chipped from where the metal has been bent. And it appears as though it was forced open by, you know, the people using the hoses to get down there. Okay. But okay. the only okay. real means of ingress, short of... Uh, now, you could attempt to scale... The yeah. outer wall, but it is it is not tenable. It is not tenable. I feel a little better now that I know I don't have to go, like, outside the building is what I'm picturing. And I was like, no freaking no, way I'm it, going with all those hands. And you are like, yeah, sure. going down a set of <laughs> stairs into the inky black flooded basement of the hospital. Okay. Okay, yeah. Then and, you know, they generally keep, like, children's wards and sugary snacks in the basements of hospitals. So I'm sure everything's kosher down there. Samson, maybe we should follow them. Yeah, you guys better follow us. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna skip the suits. I'm gonna walk over and like bite my finger and your do... red door. Yep. Alrighty. So I'm gonna <coughs> look at St. Louis and ask you want you want one? Like Yes you... please, if you don't yeah. mind. You want yeah, me to smear my blood on you? Give her him a little nice little Marking and uh, you give me the Red Cross of the Templars right on my forehead. Okay, yeah, yeah, I do that. <laughs> do I have to roll for that? Yes. Both. Okay. Curious. Does this allow you? Well, to now you the water? you have to roll. Uh, it makes them immune to the breathing as a requirement. Uh, yeah. You don't um have to roll it twice. You just have to spend the extra power <clears throat> points. I think so. Another person can go through the door, don't you? Isn't that okay. how it works? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, two power mm -hmm. points per person. Yeah. So yeah, poof. Red door oh, shows okay, up. Okay, perfect. Okay, I we walk, walk through it. Through. Yep. Excellent. You are now immune to uh, environmental hazards for an yeah. hour, I believe. Yeah. It's um does not protect against attacks or anything. It's just we can be in that environment for one hour. Yep. 
So, yep, just the uh, hospital stairs uh, notice roll from whoever's taking point. I figured I would protect them by going in first. All right, Samson, notice roll from you. Yeah, rotted sign on a wall with an arrow pointing down the stairs that says org. I see the direction to the org. Follow me. Org? Org, yeah. O-R-G-U-E. Org. What's an org? I think, I think it's supposed to be the morgue. I believe the M is gone. Yeah, that makes sense. Why would we want to go there? Because that's where he's making <laughs> the animated that's... dead bodies. Because <laughs> that's where the GM's making us go. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> I mean, I think that's a valid question. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if we want to... I feel like De La, De La Croix is uh, probably operating out of the morgue as since he's reanimating corpses yep. and doing autopsies. So I think yeah. uh, that's also where they store toe tags as far as I know. I'm sorry, please. <laughs> I keep doing it too. Sorry. That's exactly what I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Just that that's a, where the toe tags are going to be, the incisions, the, the sewing up. It's <clears throat> totally got to be there. You know what I think? We should maintain low tones because we do not attract attention. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Suddenly, Stalking mode. <laughs> you guys hear the skittering of rubble. And a second later, a oof! Oh, god damn it! Uh, frog finger raises and Cox's atomizer. Uh, Luke. Uh, stands up from the far side of the hospital <laughs> and dusts himself off. Uh, he says, uh, 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 Mr. Tinsdale thought y'all could use some backup. Damn it, Luke, I almost shot you. Now y'all both speaking at the same time. I can't make hide nor hair of it. I brought I my... look over at Frog Finger. I brought my Uzi. Woo, he says. No barrel discipline. Sweeps the whole crowd. Put that thing away and be quiet. I'm ready. What have you guys found? Is this where we're going to hang out? This doesn't seem any further from the blast. Shh. And frankly, I don't want to live in a hospital. Shut the hell up, son. What? All right, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> Continue walking. In my stereotypical comical trying to crouch down and sneak, though it doesn't work. <laughs> Melvin floats over to the basement doors, shakes his head. Oh, no. Turns around, floats, and goes back to uh, the other boat and just kind of sits down six inches above, bobbing. Oh, no. You, you need to help us. Uh, oh, I, I, I can't swim float no i can carry you N no i'm I, melvin's gonna hang out melvin's all right you guys Make uh it's this is this is good for melvin right here he's going to um you know what i'll i will establish a, a mind link to you and i will I will let you know if anything bad happens out here. What am, I, what am I thinking right now, Melvin? How good is your mind link? Uh, that I am full of shit, but I defecated this morning. Oh, not the same kind <laughs> of shit. <laughs> Melvin, can, you have one can task. I give a GM and Benny? <laughs> Protect the boat at all costs. Or we oh, will oh, have to... oh, yes, no, I, I the boat is, yes, uh, 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 y yes, yes, Melvin will Otherwise protect the we'll boat. Otherwise we'll have to write you back. I, I don't think that would work. 
If I recall, I brought the hover bike with us as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you? Yeah, no, in, yeah. Case, in case you want to, uh, you know, never go back got to all the of stacks. its components on it, though. Yeah. Yep. Huh. Well, well, Melvin, you've got some time to work that uh, enormous brain of yours into figuring out how we can ride you back should this boat go missing. It, Ta -ta. It, it will it will not because I can't swim. You guys going into the water? Yep, I go in um, and just start tranching. So in. now Melvin has never <clears throat> really expressed any emotion whatsoever. You know, he's kind of had that strange psychic detachment thing. You know, uh, he is very apprehensive about that basement. Very apprehensive. Now it could just be. Then maybe he has some phobias that haven't been addressed yet, and we've stumbled across one of them. It could be that his little mind juice is letting on more than he knows. I mean, there's lots of possibilities with Melvin, right? Yeah. I just assume hydrophobia. He's just going to hang that... out there. Well, he's not rabid. <laughs> but, all right, are we proceeding into the pitch oh, black darkness? The water is Light. stagnant and oily as you uh, drop down into it. Strangely cool compared to what you would expect it to be, given that we are in the early summer in California, post-apocalypse or not. And down, down it goes. It leads initially. Oh, wait. Uh, are you, what, what, are you, what are you making Luke do? We need to know. Uh, Does Luke have a light? Mm-hmm. He's got a light on his Uzi. Oh, God. Um, Luke should go closer to the front because he'll shoot one of us if he's at the back. He can stand next to Samson. Uh, does my sword cast light? Like, does it? Is it just like a soft glow? I believe now that is 100% based on whether or not when you cast Smite upon it that you pay the extra point for the glow trapping. Okay. So yes, your sword can in fact glow should you want it to, yes. I don't believe I have Smite, though. Oh, you don't? I could have sworn you had Smite. Let me see. Is that a power or a... Yeah, power. Yeah, I only have healing and deflection. Should I have one more? Oh, shit. <clears throat> no, I could have sworn. I'm tripping. We've, I thought... talked, we've talked about it multiple times. That so must be what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I have sweep. Sweep. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, so, Luke is... You're making him put on one of the masks from the boat? Are you red-dooring him? What's the... Uh... No, he can, can put on a mask from the boat. He yeah. can put on yeah. a mask from the boat. He pulls far too many times on the pull generator to start the uh, pump. I mean, he j you know, eh, eh, and finally, you know, it spurts to life and gets going and starts cycling air. He takes the breath and goes, All right, we're good. Good man. Can you, can you speak at a lower decibel, friend? Like, just 12. No, I cannot. Yeah, no, no, stealth from here on out. Don't worry. I got Me? you. Stage whisper. Good we're going to get y'all. So let's, <laughs> let's just head in. Yeah. All right. So, uh, with Samson's light paint playing on the interior walls, it is clear that this section of the hospital has been fully flooded for quite some time. There's a thick layer of silt gathered on the floor blocking out the tile work right the walls have rotted through the wood bulging you could just lean on it in spots and punch through to the piping that is rusted through on the other side everything down here is rusted out and waterlogged and bloated and the first thing that you come across is da, 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 da. well the stairs leading down 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 40 feet underwater fully pitch black for anybody not uh catching the pan of samson's beam and it should be said that his beam only plays illumination at half depth 
I don't know if you've ever shown a light through really thick, murky water, but it does not, uh, you know, you're not getting know like, oh, it's fantastic, right? The visibility just sucks, right? Maybe five feet in front of yourselves in the lighting. There's every now and then you hear the sound of like rubble or something falling, a little bit of splashing, right? The, uh, uh, sounds amplified in that way that they are underwater, making you twist and turn at everything. The interior of the place, even with the environmental protection, is claustrophobic. The weight of the 40 feet of water resting heavy on you. I don't know how far you've ever been underwater before, but you get down to about 20 feet underwater and the pressure gets to be tremendous, right? you double that, you're starting to get on free diving constraints for normal people, right? So even with all of that, your motion is slow and steady and everything is happening. Uh, uh, like you're wandering through gravy, right? You come across a uh, 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 mid-sized room with several rusted metal tables and some odd metal lockers along the walls. There, Luke pans his Uzi up along the length of hose and finds one of the respirators. Uh, notice roll for anybody looking at the respirator. Samson. Uh, firstly, well, I suppose, well, we'll go with the people. Uh, St. Louis and, uh, well, yeah. Oh, that's an old notice roll, isn't it, Samson? Or did you roll notice twice there? I'm still missing a notice roll. Oh, I, got, I, I just did the oh. newest one. It was a five. Yeah. Blackfinger's not looking at it. He's he's looking into the water. Oh, excellent. Ah, uh, well, then, uh, St. Louis and Samson, the mask is broken. The strap has been torn, and one of the rivets that affixes the strap to the side of the face has been snapped. It looks as though it was removed from whoever was wearing it with great violence. The second thing you notice, Samson, is Luke's beam hands up along the ceiling is the face of a bloated corpse, right? Morbidly obese man sitting there, waterlogged, touching the ceiling, you know, the adipose tissue making him unnaturally buoyant. His skin having turned a sallow green and bruised, uh, unmoving. Hair kind of shifting idly in the strange eddying currents from your movements. <clears throat> has he been autopsied? He has. So you have a toe tag, and I notice that. Why don't you give me another notice roll? Sure. He does. <clears throat> I carefully pan around to the party, and I point down at my my big toe and put up a finger and then point into the room. So now, um, I'm afraid big toe probably doesn't work in this case because the front of your foot is literally two large segmented yeah, like, well, neck I pads, point down at my, you know? My foot. Your feet. Right. Right. I like, uh, convey uh, something that I can't speak. I, uh, I pull my sword. Mm-hmm. And... I pull my machete. Yeah, and... I'm I'm going to gesture to Samson that I'm going to stick him uh from below. I uh he nods and crouches and goes into the room. <clears throat> Are you going to stab the corpse then? I'm going to stab was... the corpse. Oh, go ahead. Oh, uh if you're stabbing the corpse, I'm going to attempt to take off his foot. I was going to try to hold him in place with a stab. Excellent. Okay. So go ahead and give me a attack roll at a plus four. Because you have the drop. Mm. 
I'm just like skewering him <clears throat> into the ceiling. Yeah, you yeah. slam the sword. You're trying to pin him to the ceiling with the sword, then run him all the way through. Yeah. Yeah, I mean he's got newspaper for insides. I mean if he's anything like the other one, so mm -hmm. I just. <laughs> uh, so you uh slam your sword through the uh corpse and it bursts like a rotten melon, filling the room with an inky black green fluid and entrails, and the visibility has been reduced to nothing. Sorry. It is now pitch black. Everybody is subject to full illumination penalties because uh, you popped him like a balloon Bubble filled sore. with just fetid pus. I didn't think about that. I was thinking he had newspaper in his guts. But uh, he starts to thrash. It's clear he's alive. <clears throat> yeah, you pin him to the ceiling. He <clears throat> ruptures, right? You're just... The whole thing is, uh, you know, grossness. And I can just feel him... Right, just writhing up there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt to take off his foot. Like, over so, the area, just swing at his lower... Now, taking off the whole foot, right? Negative four for the called shot, right? And then on addition to that, we have full illumination penalty, which is an additional negative six. What? For a okay, negative well, guess... ten. I... I fucked up, guys. Sorry. Question, Will. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> um, how does Frogfinger's vision work? Do I just see like a normal person? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they're like just a... photoreceptors unless you pay for an uh, upgrade to give you some kind of thermal, infrared, whatever. Yeah. Okay, those basically have cameras on my, yeah. my face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do a regular roll then at a negative six. Now, uh, bearing in mind... That given what we understand about these guys... Well, yeah, no, never mind. Go ahead give it a neg ne regular roll. Okay. Negative six for the pitch blackness. You're just... Brrr. Now, Sabrina's cat is not there. Factually. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't like water. Uh, but... Yeah, no. I'm going to try one more. All right. Mm -hmm. Benny. Just flailing through the air. Oh, that was missing the thing, so I got a four. Yep, you uh, managed to strike it, right? You punch the, uh, you know, thing or hit it with your machete or whatever you're trying to do and hack off mm -hmm. a soapy uh, bit. The uh, tissue has long since solidified into one of these thick masses of like, oh, calcified fat. So you managed to uh, knock off a big old hunk of it. Uh, Benny for Samson, yep. Uh, it depends on the skill or trait roll. Now, if you roll a zero on a uh, on the trait die on a stealth roll, it fails. On a persuasion roll, it fails. And on any spell casting roll, it fails. That's why they track the trait die. <clears throat> but, excellent. Uh, yeah, you just hack off okay. a bit. It, I mean... I just feel a piece of it chip away. Yeah, I mean, it probably right. lands on your carapace and then... Falls to the ground, you know, All the right. thick silk of the floor. Trying to back away towards the door the way I came. Ah, uh, yeah, that will be difficult to do because you immediately back into something. <laughs> that hmm. uh, tries to ramp you up. Why don't you go ahead and give me an opposed strength roll against the other bloat. Now that we yeah. are in the inky black darkness of the morgue basement completely underwater some of us wearing breathing masks and fighting two morbidly obese undead gentlemen which is nice that's how i like it fortunately uh you guys are underwater right now if you're above water these guys are way oh man they got this stench thing that's not it's not awesome <laughs> all right here we go oh 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 whew. Ace there, I was worried for you. But yeah, no attempts to wrap you up and you pop the arms off. And it is clear that there is one down here that is going to be engaged in actual combat and an actual initiative step. But also be subject to the negative six because they don't see any better in the, you know, inky black mm -hmm. confines of that the helps. interior here. So, one bloat. Uh, everybody and their grandma... 
Uh, and another one pinned to the ceiling. Now, unfortunately, St. Louis, uh, it is pinned to the ceiling mostly by merit of the fact that you are currently holding the handle of that sword. Right? So you're right. mostly going to be sitting here going, will somebody rid me of this meddlesome bloat? You know, like, uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, it's problematic. Right? Can, is, is there, I mean, if I take an, can I take an action and try to wrench him down? Certainly. Certainly. When we get to your initiative step, we can talk about all kinds of options. But I just want okay. you to be a bear in mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of open for everything right now. Right. Now... I need to actually look up environmental protection because uh, spellcasting has two components, right? There is a somatic component, right? You need to uh, gesture, right? And then there is a verbal component. You need to be able to blah, scream and scold, blah, 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 <laughs> right? Now, I am not sure as to whether or not environmental protection... I mean, how that functions on speech underwater. So give me one second here. I'm leaning towards your fine, but I want to... It, it allows players to breathe, speak, and move at normal pace. Oh, yeah. Normally, sure enough. environments such as underwater, zero-G, lava, volcano. Even so never mind. Sun. You are uh, completely free to spell cast. And away we go with our first initiative. Frogfinger, you are up first. Now, you will have to go to the combat tracker for the bloat, and that is where you will be levying your attacks against it by rolling your attack dice over his entry in the combat tracker, because this is, again, theater of the mind. There's no bloat in the combat yeah. tracker. Oh, you know, you know what would help is if I click this button that made the NPC. There we visible. go. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, and that'll make someone else. Ah. <laughs> All right. Um, so Maybe everything at a negative six, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, everything that requires vision at a negative <clears throat> six, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so he's just going to try and fire his atomizer at the one that St. Louis is holding to the ceiling. Now, um, St. Louis is currently engaged in melee with the one in the ceiling. So the innocent bystander... Oh, <laughs> Well, now, Isn't Samson don't, engaged with the one? Don't on the roll side? a one or a two because of the illumination penalty currently. A natural uh, one so yeah. or a two will proc the innocent bystander rule. And yes, both of them. So yeah, I guess it is. I guess because we're introducing game concepts and complications. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's still gonna shoot. Yep. Godspeed. Now, mind you. Modifiers don't count if it's a one because you had a negative six and you rolled a seven. No, a natural one or a two or a critical fail. So that's fine. Even though that's a negative one, that doesn't proc it. It has to be honest on the dice gonna, as they roll up. I'm going to Benny that. Excellent. I, fin I fear Samson doing an innocent bystander too. That wouldn't be... What, does it just kind of vibrate? Are there special attachments? I... You see, fun, like a fun fact, blob fly next to you. It is canonically established that Harrod's dicks no longer function. Blood does not flow anywhere through their bodies, and they are incapable of sexual congress. And I'm not making that up. That's not something that I'm like, ha ha ha. That's something <clears throat> fun to think about. No, that they state it over and over and over again. In fact. If we go back in time to Deadlands Noir, there are Harold marital aids that start to be marketed to help with that particular problem. Husband comes back from the grave, but he can't perform. We've got that fixed for you. Try the Hellstrom, you know, dildo riser or whatever, you know. But yeah, fun fact. So, purplish blob crackles through the air, water boil, or through the water, boiling water. Uh, oh no, no woman helped to write this game. I'm almost, I am almost <laughs> I positive. I talk shit like yeah. in real game, but yeah. Oh, oh no, I, 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 I am happy to say that, uh, uh, yeah, no. No, I'm, fuck it. Right. But, okay. boils the water off, uh, briefly illuminating uh, the area around it uh, in a tiny little maybe six inch bubble. 
uh, purplish light, and then blackness again, and we are on to Sabrina's. Okay. Who isn't uh, shook so... anymore? Yay! <laughs> I'm assuming that these guys are in essentially in a doorway, doors that we didn't go into, Frogfinger and I, or are we standing in that doorway? So of the I'm morgue assuming and all of y'all are kind of in the morgue. They were further in the morgue than you were. Okay. You kind of followed it in there. Now, uh, they are far enough apart that you couldn't, like, AOE them together, right? But uh, you yeah. could certainly uh, target them with the Screaming Skulls or whatever, bearing well, in mind, you know, see that, shit, uh, though, right? you can't see it's shit, black. though. Yeah. Yeah, no, so I'm not looking to do that. I'm going to uh, ready my uh, hatchet, and um, I only know about the the first one, essentially. Um, yeah. So, and I know what uh, St. Louis going in first with, with the sword up, but pretty much what was going to happen, so I'm going to go towards him in his direction and try to uh, find a toe by just, like, feeling it out, you know? Because I don't, I just now, feel, I know what the robot you... feels like. <laughs> are going to uh so are are you going to the one with Samson then or the one being held to the ceiling by St. Louis? Nope, I'm trying Mine. to go to St. Louis's cuz that's okay. the only one I truly know St. about. St. Louis's. So, if you want to take a multi-action penalty, right? And give me an investigation at an additional negative 2, meaning investigation at a negative okay. 4, right? If you're successful on that, you will be able to feel your way to the bloated foot meat of this creature and remove the illumination penalty. Okay, is that wait two one two? Three, uh, Sabrina's four. familiar okay, four. has all the abilities inherent to a cat. Uh, so yes, but not pitch blackness. They have a dim illumination removal, but cats can't see in pitch black any better than anything else can. You know. And you said investigation or knowledge? Or it was investigation, investigation right? yep. Yeah. You're feeling around there. Notice doesn't really track here. Yeah. <laughs> That's a shame. You yeah, hate to see uh, it. I'm yeah, gonna... no, you feel around. I mean, it's just, you know, bits of tissue and swirling well, can I have any waters. Of that? Cause that's oh, yeah, a... certainly. Yeah, bend yeah, away. Yeah, let me, mm -hmm. let me do that. Because um, uh, it's not a, d a red. You were you real close to acing on that. It might work. Bloats are so nasty. <laughs> no, no, fuck it. They're one of my least favorite creatures in the Deadlands bestiary on the gross tip. Deadlands has some gross stuff, but these guys are just... The idea of waterlogged corpses is just... There's something about... I've always really been skeeved out by sharing... Wa there's a dead fish in the water. I'm touching the water. I'm getting dead fish on me, you know? And then you just multiply that to fetid human corpse, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to nope out, y'all. That's yeah, This ain't for me. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, you're just clearly feel... not from Texas. Right, right. <laughs> uh, Samson. Now this thing just tried to grab you, so you are in physical proximity with it, right? So how about we have that illumination penalty negative three if you turn around and try and swing at it, general. But uh, I'm not sure. Now, you could. Instead of trying to swing on it with your machete, come knife here, you could attempt to grapple it, opposed mm -hmm. strength roll, right? Then it'll be bound and entangled, right? If you get a raise on your strength roll in the grappling, which would then allow other people... <clears throat> I mean, if you have your light shone on it, you're pinning it to the ground, right? You could grab mm -hmm. somebody, move their hand over there. There's lots of ways we can start <clears throat> negating this illumination penalty. Okay. Yeah, I was actually thinking of uh, grappling it. Once I have it grappled, can I drag it out of the pitch black room, like the inky blackness, into a cleaner area? Uh, so you were 40 feet underwater. You went down like two flights of stairs. That would be quite a bit of dragon. That's a lot of a. Well, no, I, I was just wondering how much of the... Oh, did you mean corpse it, just flow through everything in the whole place? Or? No, it's pretty much the morgue room you're in. You'd have to go back into the stairwell to get into the... Yeah, room. I kind of wanted to drag it back into the stairwell if possible if yeah, i grab it yeah that's fair i mean i believe that would take a couple of let me see here i know grappling there's specific rules for moving characters in a grapple i don't want to misquote some shit and of course this is the yeah. deluxe version so it's going to be different than the suede that i've been memorizing which is fun it's, it's always fun if you guys ever want to be really confused by an RPG system, play two versions of the same one at the same time. 
I just, it's wonderful. It's... <laughs> um, okay. Situational rules. No, that's not where it is here, of course. Why, why would it be in the same spot? That doesn't make sense. Situational combat rules. There it is. Grappling. All right. So, oh, in this one, it's not an opposed strength roll. It's an opposed fighting roll, which is, that doesn't yeah. even make sense to me. So, opposed fighting roll, first off. I really okay. hope that they advance uh, Hell on Earth to Sway. That they and there's a the penal, partial treatment. penalty or no? Um, Are we both at a penalty? I mean, you're, you're, you're touching him, so yeah, it's okay. going to be evened out here. Uh, so, okay. Let's go you for grapple. It. Uh, yeah, if the attacker wins, you've entangled his foe. And with a raise, the foe is also shaken. So, opposed fighting rolls. Here we go. Not you, but you. Oh, I'm paying that. Yeah, I'm bam, bam, I'm bending. It's like the worst fighting role I've ever had. There we go. So that is a success, but not a success with a raise, because you'd need four points over for the raise. So you have entangled the foe here. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Now, entangled means that he has no free movement and he is distracted, meaning all trait rolls uh, happen at a negative two for him. So his fighting rolls are at a negative two, his notice, right, etc., etc. But, uh... Oh, did you find anything on the movement? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, after Try grappling, uh, da, 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 attacker may attempt to damage his victim on subsequent rounds. Attempt to break free, strength and agility. If successful, the defender is free. If he does so, the raise is free and may act normally. They actually don't have anything on moving in this one. Earth. Well, there really isn't. Hmm. Oh, what about push? Let's see here. Sometimes character may want to push your foe in hopes of knocking him out of position, prone, or even into a deadly hazard. This is called push. To push a foe, the attacker and the target make opposed strength rolls. If successful, the attacker has three choices. He can bash, so he can push the target one square. Success, two squares on a raise. Uh, if the defender hits an obstacle, he suffers 1d6 damage for every one inch they would have moved beyond the obstacle. Oh, that's fucking cool, though. So bear hugging him, I just have to stand there with him. Like, yeah, wrap, yeah, you've got him up. wrapped up for somebody else to come through and get a bonus on their ability to chop his toe off. Okay. But just... he has to beat you on a, uh, <clears throat> a strength or agility roll to try and break free, and that is unlikely given his stat line versus yours. All right, I sort of have this light shine down on top of him, so there we go. Saint Louis. Alrighty, so are there one bloat or two bloat? Uh, there is two bloats. There's the one you have pinned to the ceiling, and there's the one Samson's hugging. Okay, because there's only one in the combat tracker. Is yeah, that correct? yeah, because the okay. one you have pinned to the ceiling isn't really right now. They're uh, not oh, okay, combatant okay, okay, okay. of sort. They're like a narrative combatant until you get them off the ceiling. At which point, I throw them in a combat tracker. Okay, cool. Nope, that's cool. I just wanted to make sure that if I needed to target something, I could. Um, so I am going to do a multi combat or a multi action, uh, and I would like to do, um, deflection since I do feel a little, well, can I do deflection yeah. with my hands on my sword? Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that first. Oh, Oh, well, no, I'm not. no you bad. are not. Um, yes, have bad. we what critically happened? failed on one of your faith rolls yet? I don't think not we have. Yet. So but do I lose faith or do I get hurt? We're about to find out. Everybody's different, right? I do think you get hurt because I remember Sabrina just getting fatigue with is bullshit. Full stop. Bullshit. <laughs> but let's see no, here. Fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, no, it's good to go through these two as we come to them. It's weird because I read up on it when you make the character, and then eight weeks pass until you critically fail on one, so I completely, you know. Let's see here. Da 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 da. Making heroes. 
And they can hear us a Templar. Oh, don't give me that arcane background Templars bullshit. Toxic Shaman. Seriously, though? Oh, no, it's in no man's land. They organize it so fucking bizarrely. All right, history. I don't need that. Do not need that. Becoming Templar. I do not need... Oh, my God. Come on. Where does it say what happens when you critically fail? This Oh, backlash. All right. When you roll a one on your faith die, you suffer a level of fatigue. Wait. But when you critically fail on the... Doesn't something... I guess not. No, it just says backlash when you roll a one on the faith die. Level of fatigue. Maybe you get fatigue too. It's no. just a weird scientist that gets fucked then, huh? Yeah, when he critically well, fails. Yeah, it gets nutty. I'm almost certain that, like... You I know lose in regular Deadlands, it can right. be painful. Oh, no, if you... Yeah, you can literally, yeah. in regular Deadlands, lose your connection you to God forever. <laughs> yeah, it can kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that okay. is kind of shocking, but yeah, it's just saying fatigue. So fatigue, it is, not that that doesn't suck here. Yeah, no, that sucks. Um, uh, because I am going to need a strength roll from you uh, in light of fatigue and failing that faith roll. Keep that guy pinned to the ceiling. Okay, sounds good. Just a second. There we go. Don't do it again. He almost was, did it again. He almost critically failed again. But yeah, that, gonna, uh, you gonna, gonna Benny it? Yeah. When I Benny that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Ooh. Ooh, Lord of mercy. All right. And uh, what was your second action then? Uh, my second action was going to be to try to wrench him down, you know, keeping my sword in him if possible. Or yeah, just cutting through him completely, <laughs> whichever I mean, whichever's it, allowed. It does seem more likely to me that were you to wrench him down, you would just split him from the midsection, make his legs longer. You know what I mean at this point? Yeah, yeah. But, and that's fine. Um, I'm just trying to get him. Why don't we give me an agility roll? That seems like a deftness kind of thing. Okay, and I'm still at a negative two, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think instead of wrenching him down, you're going to accidentally just split him further open. Not that any more guts can spill out or that it has any effect on him, given that, you know, it's the sure, sure, sure. Really, but I just kind of want my arms down and my sword. Right, throat right, that is uh, fair. More accessible. Unfortunately, now he's also um, in the combat tracker. Bam! Bloats all over this motherfucker. All right, speaking of bloats... This fellow here is entangled. Uh, opposed strength roll, Samson. He is attempting to break free. He needs to break free with a raise to be able to do anything else this round. And he did neither. You keep him snug as a bug in a rug. And Adam's combat form is certainly not here. I don't know why he's like... I make Adam follow you this whole time to show up in the basement and just... <laughs> I want to so play much. squadrons. <laughs> Just... <laughs> well, we, we, were, we were all we were all reacting to that, going, "What the hell?" <laughs> right? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. God, no. No, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Whoops. No, he wasn't supposed to be there. Oh, uh, good. 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 All right. Bloat number two. Uh, just split. You know, from like sternum down through uh, extra long legs is going to attempt to swipe at Saint Louis. Cannot see any further through his guts than y'all can. So he is going to be doing the negative six. <clears throat> and he's going to hit with like a 46. Watch, I'm feeling it. You guys also are really fortunate that none of you as player characters are wearing these masks. Can I just say that it is wonderful that I do not have to introduce the complication of one of these things ripping the mask off your face while you're 40 feet underwater in the pitch darkness, you know, swirling fetid that. intestines. Like, fuck every bit of that. Every oh, yeah. uh, little kid with us. With uh, them. Yeah, but I thought about that too. Okay. That's, yeah, well, now Luke, Luke is, uh, <laughs> you know, Uzi. he's got an Uzi. Luke's a pocket Uzi. That's what he's good for, you know? Uh, you notice know, Luke. You'll notice off. Luke isn't on the combat tracker. He might be a little scared to death right now. But that's you know, we're gonna discuss Morgan. that after everybody survives. 
Or he shot himself. Or he's dead. <laughs> he's just floating Wait. behind you guys, just filled with bullets. <laughs> oh, All right, St. Louis, here comes the blow to tech. Negative six. Big fat fingers. <laughs> Nothing. All right, round D. St. Louis up first. Oh, it has deflection on you. That's weird. I kept that. There we go. It still wouldn't have hit. That's fine. I, I still only see one bloat. Uh, you should see both of... Oh, no. Yep, there you go. Bloat okay, cool. 2. We'll call bloat 2. Split bloat. That'll help distinguish okay. them. Bloat 2 is mine. Yeah. Is my pet. Okay, cool. Split bloat. Nope. Jesus. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna try to uh, hack off. I'm just gonna try to hack at him. That's what we're gonna do. Now it Let's should be see. said that uh, you know you can't uh, kill them. Sure. With uh, you know removing the toe, but you can certainly incapacitate through enough heavy dam. If if you keep doing these, I split him in half, I hunk up, you know, eventually there's not enough left of him to do anything but kind of just right in the air, right? Like, or... Yeah, so, by all means. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to do a called shot because I already have the light penalty, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm just going to hack at him. All right. See. Very slowly underwater, probably. Well, well, now you have environmental protection on for the red door, so you can actually oh. move absolutely normally. Which is oh, nice. ludicrous, by the way. Ludicrous. <laughs> I don't know. I, all right, so you don't have to breathe, but it negates the laws of physics? Like, Fuck fucking yeah. magic. Do I need to apply the negative six? Yes. Got it. I guess I could. There's probably a full darkness illumination penalty. But... Holy shit. Is that... Is that a five? Yeah. You you hit. Yeah. I think I aced on something. <laughs> so, but uh, awesome. Awesome. Damage, damage, damage. Where are you? Oh, boo. Still so yeah. Boo. Boo, yeah, now that, I mean, that just like slices a, a nice it. little, you know, bit of fat man ham off. And that's about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, they're, they're yeah. pretty tough. Pretty tough, yeah. Frog finger. Now Samson has one pinned down there with the light on him, right? So he's in dim lighting, right? And then the split bloat is, uh, you know, I'm not even sure you can see St. Louis just flailing away there in her corner of darkness, his corner of darkness, you know? Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's going to, you know, cock his atomizer again. You can still hear the whine underwater. Wee! Of course you can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then and uh, he's going to take a, take a shot at the one Samson's. That's the one that's entangled, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that will be a negative three then. Well, excuse me, negative two for dim lighting. Mm -hmm. Okay. And because he's, he has... uh... Now, if you want the called shot on the toe, and then it's a negative eight because it's a negative six for a toe size target plus the illumination penalty. Nah, he's just gonna try and vaporize this thing. Um, he's he's gonna hold the trigger down for a second before he lets go. Mm hmm. And he's gonna Benny that. Yep. Oh, come on. Hey, that's oh, a hit. Him. Cool. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Like, I didn't do the negative. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, all right, yeah, that's his turn. All right, yeah, again, yeah, you know, purple plasma boils through the water. Yeah. Maybe it scorches his exterior a little, fries a little of that bacon. Split bloats up. He is uh, going to take his negative six slash at St. Louis again. He's a little pissed off that... You know, she split him open and he can't see. He's like, this is getting frustrating. And misses. Yeah. Bloat is uh, going to do that strength roll again. He's going to break free this time. He can feel it in his heart of hearts. Uh-oh. I was just fucking around. He might, though. Oh, wow. 
I need to try to beat that, huh? Yeah. Uh, he beats you with a raise, which means he can act this round if you keep that roll. Yeah, I'm going to try to roll again. Uh, wow. At least it's not a raise. It's not a raise. So he is no longer entangled, but cannot move this round. <clears throat> and is he shaking? Let me see here. I think, forget if he is shaken when he comes out. These rules are so much dumber than the suede version of Grapple. Much more streamlined. Bring you attempt to sanction or you raise. All right, no, not shaken, but he uh, cannot act until next round. Samson, going to re-grapple him like, no, bud. <laughs> yep, come on back. I want to hug you now. <clears throat> All oh, that's right. It's in a post-fighting rule. My bad. Sorry. Break free with strength, grapple with fighting. Again, why convolute it with two different... Hey, four above him. Nice. Yep, boom. So now he is entangled and hashtag shook. Because you beat him shook with face. a raise on the uh, grapple roll. Boom. Excellent. All right, moving on to Sabrina. Still can't see anything. I'm still in the doorway. But you say if we move back a bit from in towards like well now the so it's clear. If you went or... back into the stairwell you came from, the water around you would be clearer, right? I but still couldn't uh, see anything in there. Yeah, you'd just be looking into the inky. You know. That being said, if you move further into the room, you can get closer to Samson to see where he has his fellow grappled and the light shining on him. Yeah, the actual light. Yep, I'm going to try to continue in further then. So... What was I rolling to actually try to get into there? Like anything? Uh, oh, oh, oh you, can, you, can just, just... you can just stroll on in there. Again, again the red <laughs> door makes it just, you know, it's casual. Just gonna wander through there mm -hmm. looking for him. I see see him in his light then and uh can I can, uh I'm gonna start hacking and whacking and slashing uh, uh with the cleaver. Negative two for the dim lighting if you're just trying to hit okay. the bloat randomly. Yep, I'm gonna go random. I know I got to name or you know, go towards the pigs, but that's alright. I thought the same thing, Toa. Like I really, I, I thought that I thought they had smite as well. It's probably because like it's so unusual for a sword slinging spellcaster to not have mm. smite. You know, that's what I'm thinking we, it is. We discussed it extensively during character creation and thought first strike was a good first strike and extraction were good to start with, and then right next new time. buying up into the powers. Uh, that that's a hit there, Sabrina. Okay. You have uh, you. you have cleavered. Was and that so is weird. that is sad. That was sad. I get some some more fillets. Uh, not not with that. You don't. No. No. You, not yet. Edge catches some of the fatty tissue, and it must have been one of the hardened bits that had really calcified, because not even nothing on the boy on the fella. Okay. Next round here, guys. Frogfinger with the Joker. Nice. Sweet. Um, now, Frogfinger, since you have a plus two, that uh, even though you have the negative two illumination penalty uh, that you still have to program in, the game will automatically negate that, giving you a flat roll. Gotcha. Should you attack bloat. Well, do we, do we all get a Benny? Uh, no, because we do not play with the Joker Wilds rule. Oh, I encourage our, um, our wonderful audience members to do as Moon Ripples just has, and Award frog, frog finger with a penny. So, like, how much is this thing flailing around? And can uh, I see it? Not a lot. I mean, Samson has it on lock right now. He shook it. He got a raise on that last grapple roll, so he's definitely, like, uh... Can I, like, move over and shove its big toe into the barrel of my atomizer? Now, that is a wonderful question. Could you move over it? <laughs> Technically cannot move it is entangled um why don't you 
Give like me an agility roll or something to like you know, catch it. Athletics, sir. Oh wait, there is no. That's suede again. Yeah, agility. Goddamn suede, ruining everything. <laughs> Making it better. It is. It's suede is so much better. Excellent. Hey, uh, there we go. Yeah, no, you have shoved its toe into the barrel of your atomizer. Uh, mind you, that happened at a negative two. Uh, because of the, you know, illumination should have been flat. I still happened. Doesn't matter. But now you have the multi-action penalty applied right. to actually atomize the toe. Which is a negative two, right? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to shoot the toe. Mm-hmm. Um, shoot, which one is it? The entangled one still? Yep. Yeah bloat and you hit the toe nice which i mean hopefully with it shoved in the barrel of your fucking atomizer right yeah it would yeah be boom effect, right? <laughs> and not only did you hit the tone but you did sufficient damage to atomize it the bloat writhes right and then uh you know ceases moving as the toe tag kind of idly floats he like spins his gun and and blows on the barrel. Now he's like uh, it way so, out here. So, Frogfinger, you do not have red door on, so you do not move normally underwater. So spinning your gun is probably more of a, <laughs> you know, like right. Uh, but yes, bloat has been uh, destroyed there, and now it's just split bloat left. Sabrina. Bam. Wonderful. Okay, I see that get destroyed. Gives me an idea. I wonder, can I, like, bite his toe off? If uh, if I can, like, grab his foot and just... No. No, you cannot. <laughs> no, you cannot. I mean, a human jaw can bite oh, yes. through human... No, you can... Yes, yes, no, factually, no, yes, this is a thing that can happen. Right? I just, like... like just like a... So I struggle like, with, the... like, nausea, right? Like, uh, it's like a persistent thing in my life, right? And I believe I just discussed how I have this, like, issue where if I'm touching the same body of water as something that I know is dead, right? I am touching something that is dead. Yeah. And you, I have described these fetid, waterlogged corpses. This one here, right, has been split from the sternum through the genitals, extending its legs up into a ragged hat, and you wanna, you wanna swim gonna... through the inky blackness, right? Try and locate one of its bloated and blackened, grotesque, like diabetic infection toes. Pop that bitch in your mouth, and just give, 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 give her a little nibble. That's what, that's what you wanna happen right now. That's, that's what's. That's what you are describing to me as the player is something. What's All right. What's the penalty for that? Is there, so, is there a worse penalty? <laughs> I mean, you got to give me an investigation to find the toe. <laughs> right? And that's going to happen with the penalties because it's in the blackness. I mean, you are literally... Right. Well, no. This is full blackness. Ooh. Samson's light isn't on this. This is six. Oh, what? Samson, look this way. <laughs> no? I don't can't hear you. You are really. literally feeling you your way totally through. You're me. doing this in the pitch blackness. Oh, I can hear you. Well, can't I speak regularly? Uh, yeah, with the, but they yes. Can't hear regularly. Yes, you can speak regularly. <laughs> they, so, yes, you can speak regularly. Oh, my fucking god, I can't. <laughs> like, I, I need you to. I need you to understand. You are walking through just this guts-filled water with your mouth open, going, "Is this a toe?" Is this, is this a toe? Like Homer and Donuts. Oh, I just like holy you fuck. Out a cyborg out. It's a good thing. Yeah. No. Know. All right. So investigation at a negative six to find the toe with your mouth. How is how can I roll? Is this you really can ace? Work? Yeah. I, 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 you can roll a thirty-two on a d6 in Savage World sometimes. Yeah. No. I mean, it, it's a tall you ask. Find the toe? Should I should I find the? I find mean, the you toe? can you can bet it. Benny in it. Let's find the toe. Uh, four five. I want this to work now. I mean, it's so it's so foul. I just. 
<laughs> Why chimney? One, two, four, five, six. This is so high. Okay, investigation, come on. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, no, I mean, again, uh, want to do it. Uh, <clears throat> now I am going to say canonically that Red Door, i.e., environmental protection, also protects you from taste because That's otherwise like, your mouth is just like, oh, we're, we're kind of like a weird shaped oh, donut, and just, it's just got to cover everything. Like, we're kind of like a weird shaped donut. She says, yes, we are, because we have a <laughs> hole that runs all the way through us, certainly. Wait, so you're theorizing <laughs> that Red Door doesn't just coat the outside of you, but it's like the entire, your mouth, your esophagus, your intestines, like, I mean, right, not, your, your colon is shielded. Water or in a volcano. Like the glaze of a donut. So yeah. you, you could, like, you know, go get some really spicy pho. And be totally cool as long as you maintained Red Door through the whole process. I can eat whatever. I yeah. Want. All right. All right. Just just <laughs> tracking. All right. So you don't taste the foulness. Thank you, Lisa and Sabrina. You've earned a Benny for your whatever the fuck this is. At this point. All right. Use it for the toe. Use it for the toe. Oh, here we go again. All right. Another investigation. Negative six. Four, five, six. Is that six? Yep, six. Investigation. I like uh, I said. I want this. Samson's got to get over there and grapple it and like feed the. Just, yeah, like, just the. <laughs> you just see me walking around. Huh? Like one of you I could grab one leg and the other one of you could grab the other leg and you guys could walk <laughs> in different directions. You could probably pull them in half at this point, you know. <laughs> but all right. Speaking of the guy getting pulled in half, Split Bloat is going to attempt to claw at Saint Louis again with the negative six. And that ain't happening. Let's see if he critically fails. He does not. Just misses wildly. St. Louis. Alrighty. Um, I am going to... Uh, I am going to keep keep a hacking. Yep. Hack, that's my, that's whack, my chopping that meat. Yep. That's what I was going to say. <clears throat> That song's so good, but repeat. That album's good, actually. That whole fucking I, thing is good. I got a four. You have hit him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, his, even with his parry? Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, we're going against parry, aren't we? Five, yeah. Womp womp. Sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. No, you should have just let me run with it. Yeah, yeah. No, that's honest. <laughs> you know what? Benny, for honesty. How about that? Boom. Oh, I'm that GM. Oh, Samson. So, uh, you have been moving over there. no better chance of uh, locating the thing, even with the sweep of the, uh, I mean, I need an investigation, a notice, something to try and... Notice, yeah, commotion in the water. And right. Mm -hmm. Move that way. The turbulence of the, the comp. Holy shit. Negative six, that's a five. Oh, Boom. He was negative six. Oh, Oops. that's fine, though. I mean, yeah. you, you got a five, so <clears> oof. <throat> Congratulations, you have successfully, you know the direction. You can pan your light over to him. You can uh, do whatever. That doesn't count as a multi-action, that notice roll, so. Yeah, I just go, turn, mm -hmm. and just start marching that direction with the light on it. That direction. Oh, man. Can I get over to it this way? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try to grapple it. Hold it down. Yes, sir. For Sabrina to nibble on. I unfortunately oh, don't hold. know that's what... Boom, yeah, hold. he is entangled <clears throat> and shook. I don't know what she's trying to do, but... Yeah, I wish I didn't either. There's a lot of thrashing over there in the dark. Right? Frogfinger! You're muted, I think. I was. I guess... Frogfinger's just going to try and get within close enough range to where I can maybe see something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, now, uh, visibility Samson has the, the beam played on the thing right now, right? Uh, like, and, you know, so I don't really... I know yeah, that my, you can't... Can I even see the beam? That's my, my question. question, right? Like, I'm not sure... 
honestly how the perception of light works from a distance in murky water because you know like uh in a deep forest right a campfire it stands out like a sore thumb right like uh, even though you have all the obfuscating terrain and all this you know like and i know I like fog lights right you can't see with the fog lights but people can see your fog lights that's the point mm -hmm. of fog light you know so like i think you would be able to see the play of the beam that makes sense Okay, um, yeah, I guess I'll just start, like, walking over towards the, I guess, swimming. We're underwater, aren't we? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this whole yeah. thing is 40 feet underwater. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You're um, in the morgue yeah, in, like, the sub-basement. Swim towards the, the light. Mm-hmm. Well, now, um, by swim, I'm afraid you mean clunk, 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 clunk. You are made out of metal, you know? Yeah, he's he's still kind of dead. Fortunately, dimensions. you're water resistant up to forty meters as a child's toy. They expected you to be, you know, in bath time and all of that. <laughs> Just convenient depth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go over towards the light until I can see something. Yep. Yeah. Just a negative two dim illumination penalty playing over the. Uh, well, really, the remains of this thing. I, I can't overemphasize how it's normally been broken like a wishbone at this point, practically. Yeah, I yeah. picture, like, you know, just, like, part of an intestine floating by my face every once in a while. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Um, So what's the modifier for shooting the toe? Oh, Jesus. So the illumination penalty is a negative two. And then if you're targeting the toe, it's a negative six. Because it is a tiny target. It's like shooting an eye. It's going to be a negative eight. Um, Blame St. Louis. She ruptured it. I mean, it was a good plot. I mean, it was a good idea, honestly. It was. And if they didn't have that crazy stench ability, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done it. But, you know, it tracks underwater. You got you to gotta still make them have the special ability somehow, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that he's makes just, sense. I mean, he's just going to try and shoot it. Roger, shoot Roger. At the, shoot at the toe. Oh, the toe specifically? Yep. Now, yeah, yeah whatever, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope. Boof. No, miss. Boils off the water. Mm -hmm. I'll use one of those binnies. The oh, dice God. have been very normal tonight, haven't they? I know. Like... Not a lot of explosions, although it's been, like, real sedate, I feel like, compared to our sessions normally. Uh, Sabrina. Uh, investigation and a negative two to oh. find this toe with your mouth. <laughs> Sweet mother of God, nope. God damn it. Now you have a you have you have some Benny still, and that's not that bad. Negative two on a D six is real. That's average. Attack, I know. You know. It's actually okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Doing it. Doing it. Um, two. You know, you get an idea. I got two ideas for tonight. And one of them is toe in my mouth. I don't want to know what the other idea is at this point. I'm that one <laughs> idea is enough. <gasps> Boom! There oh, it I'm is. Going my mouth. Uh. 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 <laughs> Ah, uh, and then finally, one of the legs is just kind of floating raggedly, right? Ah, uh, bite down. All right. <laughs> so now, I don't know what the modifier is for a mouth-based strength roll, but I'm going to call it flat. Let's see if you can bite this toe off. We're looking for a four. Holy fuck. Yeah, uh, you bite that toe and the two toes next to it off. I mean, you got like a third of the foot this. in the mouth just... Like uh, I'm used to, I'm used to toe toe sandwiches, you know. Like it's, um, we're good. So the uh, the bloat stops moving, right? Immediately you sever the toe. <laughs> the toe tag is still on the toes uh, in your mouth, though, and they yeah. are wiggling. <laughs> I'm gonna ask to keep that. <laughs> It's like it's like people who uh like live octopus. So yeah. you're going you're going to keep the three animated think, toes just I as like I a kinda... a lolly or something? Is that what I'm hearing? Hey, they're fresh. 
you know. No, they, you they emphatically you know, are not fresh. Not fresh. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, you know, just your binky. Your when you get nervous, you just pop these wiggling, you know, uh, blow toes into your mouth. Was, and, that's oh my gosh. That's gonna oh be so my comforting. Lord. Sabrina I, gets another Benny for biting the toe I off of this morbidly obese. Uh, that I now have. Why are people like reinforcing this? <laughs> I have no fucking clue. More. But with the bloats defeated, we are going to take our mid-show break as the scrappers delve further into the ruins of the flooded hospital and hopefully uncover the mystery of Dr. Joseph Delacroix and what has happened to the residents of the Stacks. Thanks for watching so far. If you like what you've seen, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, but we do it three nights a week, so, like, you know, follow the channel and, uh, you know, yeah, hang out more. Uh, we got a Discord community. We're currently playing Star Wars Squadrons together. We talk about nerd stuff there. It's vetted so that everybody's cool. You can check that out with exclamation point Discord. You can follow us on Twitter. Maybe you don't have money. Maybe you want to spend them Bezos bucks. Amazon Prime, you can sub for the show. It spends just the same to me. Yeah, Papa Bezos can help us both out. You know you have Amazon Prime. We live in the plague times. Ain't nobody shopping at stores. But maybe the post-apocalypse isn't your thing. Why not pirates? We do pirates. right? Maybe pirates isn't your thing. And we do the Weird West, too. Maybe none of those are your thing. Then see, I don't know why you're watching, because that's all we do here. And we're going to come back to it here in just 10 minutes after our mid-show break. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be right back. Bam.
Oh snap, we're back. Thank you for sticking with us through the break. Our uh, talented group of scavengers have well, bitten and blasted <clears throat> their way through the bloated corpses that had reanimated and were infesting the waterlogged morgue in the flooded basement of the Blessed Respite Hospital. Um, snacks, um, you know, obtained. Uh, now, have you added the three animated toes to your inventory, Sabrina? Because I am going to do that right now. I excellent. have it on my notes. As long as the toe tag remains on the three toes, they will remain forever animated. So you have... Now, mind you, they're evil. They'll try and evil choke toes. you. They'll try and, like, cut the inside of your mouth with the toenails, you know? I'm gonna, eh. I'm gonna like, tongue wrestle them. Right, yeah. Don't, no, you won't. No, no, no. No. You don't know what I do. <laughs> I I wish that I didn't. Um, <laughs> How much do they weigh? <laughs> Oh God! What is three toes like? Uh, you know, nothing. A ha nothing. yeah, nothing. It's a uh, ornamental. Okay, wonderful. But uh, yeah, that's that's gross. <laughs> Continue. So, um, ba 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 da 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 blows the ceiling in the room da 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 excellent so um there is a corridor on the uh far side of the room that seems to lead further into the interior of the hospital miraculously the bloat juice is all settled now being heavier than water and without their thrashing so we're down to the normal darkness penalties again and can barely make out things in the play of the lights and I'll just continue down the hall. Excellent. There appears oh. to be a pair of elevator doors and some stairs that lead up. All right. Uh, um, taking the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, definitely stairs. Yeah. No, I don't trust an elevator in here, I don't think. Oh, no. no Why would not, it be working? No, no, yeah, 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 probably not. Uh, nothing nothing good will be found in an elevator shaft in the deadlands that's been underwater no. for 10 years or that's just that's a that's a no that's a hard no sounds like that, a solid that rule being of said thumb. is it just like a closed elevator door yes or like two closed door? elevator doors yeah. okay stairs yeah, um, lead stairs. up uh you know you take the stairs up and they emerge from the water uh, everybody give me a tracking roll. Oh. Some skill. Mm-hmm. It worked. Ba -ba -ba. <clears throat> I didn't see it, no. No, okay, try it again. Oh. Holy shit, yeah, Sabrina. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> uh, so you notice, uh, firstly, that there is a thick layer of dust covering the interior of the floor here. And, uh, you know, off in the distance, you can see daylight filtering in from the rubble of the caved-in wall, right? So it's natural that there would be an accumulation of dust. But for some reason, you spot that along the ridges of the dust, there's a buildup of mud in a certain patch that gives the indication of like a series of footsteps as though this corridor had been traversed by things entering and exiting the water with a great frequency. No yeah. rays on the tracking roll, I'm afraid, but certainly something comes out of the water and goes into the water and uses this path a lot. Yeah. I'm going to uh, note and uh, it looks like this is uh well-traveled area as I suck on the the long toe, the middle toe. Do you think Stop doing that. Spring... Do you think we could spring a trap, Samson? 
most of the tracks appear to lead down a narrow dark corridor away from the hole in the exterior <clears throat> wall to what appears to be a western staircase leading up from the first level. I believe we should continue. I am not a trap crafter. And we may wait a long time to spring it. Luke much for making traps either. emerges from the water uh, well after you guys had come out. Clearly, you know, he got disoriented. Oh. A hose must have come up. You know, something weird there. And it rips the mask off and goes, <gasps> I thought I was going to drown down there. I'm uh, glad you so made lucky. It. His voice echoes throughout the <laughs> corridor, you know. Luke, will you shut up? Oh, yeah, that's right. Stage whisper. I just want to clarify that that Frogfinger did not like say that quietly. Right. <laughs> he like yelled at him, yelled yeah. it at him. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, goddammit. Continue. Start but, walking forward. Yeah. The paths definitely lead up the western staircase. Uh the next three floors are uh, they appear caved in. You know, one of the doors is barred. Another one you can see down the hallway, but the roof is caved in, rendering it inoperable. You can't navigate the confines. And so the next level that is accessible when you come out on is the fifth floor of the hospital. Now, uh, well elevated. A much larger section of the wall is torn away here. Nearly the entirety of the southeast side of the hospital as you come up the western stairs. So pretty much the opposite corner. This appears to be just a hospital ward. There is a nurse's station, the two elevator doors, and several hospital rooms uh, leading off uh, into the darkness as you get further away from the gap in the wall. The nurse's station is a you know, wooden desk is swollen, right? The uh, layer of, uh, you know, the countertop or whatever has bubbled with the uh, weather effects over to all. Oh. oh, Beagle. Oh, buddy. So precious. Oh. I didn't know you had a dog. I thought you were just a ferret guy. Now you're normal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But, I got them all. Right, you got them all. Finger scavenge for supplies around you, the nurse's you station. You certainly can. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, that is fantastic. So the nurse's station just has a few ancient charts and medical logs of, like, uh, you know, patients that are obviously long since dead. There's a little storage room behind the nurse's cl uh, station, like a supply closet, uh, and where they keep, like, linen smocks and, uh, you know, some bulkier medical equipment. And you find a few packages of unspoiled bandages and an air splint. Used for immobilizing a broken limb. Bandages give plus two on a first aid roll when applied for any kind of nice. healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll Are call that a pack of five sterile bandages. Down. I was going to put them in my inventory, but can I drag those from a, one of the books? Uh, I am actually not entirely certain on that. Let me see here in the items log. <laughs> I'm converting this from a classic module, and I'm not sure that they have the, uh... But you can just write bandages, and then the notes go plus two on healing, too. It's not... No, uh, it's no... The, not the med kit, right? Not the med kit, no, bandages, specifically. Yeah, the and there's nothing skin? in the book. And they're sterile. Just bandages. Sterile pack of bandages. You know, it's not My a bad gauze. idea if we do happen to see a first aid kit around here. I suggest we do the salvage after we eliminate the threat. Sure, sure. Agreed? Yep. Yeah, Thank idea. you for your participation. Frog finger just keeps scavenging. Um, um, I'm assuming I get my, my 1d6 off of that, right? Yeah, mm -hmm, you do. Okay. And also... Yeah, he's done scavenging. Uh... If there is a dilapidated computer terminal right at the nurse's station that seems relatively intact, albeit lacking a power source, 
were one of you to take a battery from like a uh, laser firearm or something along those lines and apply a weird oh. science roll, you could certainly <clears throat> reboot it and see if you could get anything. You want to let me know this? Or does everyone see it? Uh, yes, you got, sure, you got, a, you got a, a battery pack from one of those guns? I have better. I go through my bag from uh, the, our first salvage. We got that large battery. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull it out and set Excellent. it down. Weird science <clears throat> at a negative two to rig it up and get the terminal functioning. And he pulls out a... Or an electronics, a... either or. Um, I'm a real world science, weird science. But weird yeah, he science. He pulls out like some some jumper cables from his bag. Yep. And just hooks it up to the the computer. And then uh, you know sparks him a couple times and uses a Benny. Right, right, yeah. Hopefully, because yeah. <sighs> Could you just roll a two twice in a row on your D8 weird science? I just wanted uh, that. To... Yeah, that just happened. Yeah, what is with Jeez. the dice tonight? Yeah, no, the terminal shorts out, right? And oh, uh, smolders, and yeah. Oh, another oh. Benny. I'm gonna oh, try. Oh, well, again. there you go. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Benny, <laughs> Benny, should I just you. just toss that in the chat? Then you're just gonna spend that immediately. I mean, no, go ahead, you. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's happening. Mm -hmm. There we go. There oh. we go. Yeah. I know. Uh. Yeah, the uh, screen flickers to life in that, like, retro 80s way that for some reason all the tech has, even though it's 2090, because this was written, like, 30 years ago or whatever. But, um, you, uh, see, just a couple of things, right? There's some notes on the people that were last here, right? Like, uh, you know, heart surgery, Ward 3, or whatever. Uh, interestingly enough, give me a notice roll. Oh, no, uh... Get somebody else to give me an investigation role or a research Ooh, role. Uh, either what I was or... like, can I do this? Can you do what? Can I use my data jack and then use my knowledge computers to go through the computer You files? certainly could as well, yes. Okay. So I want us to roll investigation? Uh, whoever would like to... I mean, all of you could take turns at this. It's not like a, a dramatic task or anything, but... Uh... Ooh, what uh, a jack in gives me a plus two bonus. Uh, well, I mean, she hit it with a race, so she she's already oh, okay. leached all the, uh, yeah, clackety clackety oh, clack 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 clackety sorry. clackety clack. <laughs> Saint I Louis. That was something we were all doing. <laughs> Saint Louis suddenly starts typing incredibly fastly. You see uh, no lines of code show up on this screen. All right, he goes, "I've got to get around the firewall." Breaching the data. Click. I'm in. Right. I mean, you know, that's a that's a straight up hacker role. Yeah. Uh, you find. The employee files, interestingly, it talks about the uh, hospital's primary surgeon, uh, oh. Dr. Joseph Delacroix, who is offices and surgical ward is on the seventh floor, two floors above the one you currently find yourself. Looks like we have to go upstairs, y'all. Sounds good to me. This computer box is telling me information. <laughs> For just a second, the machine spirit was like, ah, fuck it, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, no. He shakes his head. <laughs> All right, continue going. The uh, oh. stairs leading up beyond this point are near collapsed. It would be very improbable for you to be able to further make your way up using the western stairwell. The only other two <clears throat> obvious means of gaining further height in this tower of, uh, you know, not at all malicious death, right, would be perhaps the elevator shafts or the aforementioned scaling of the exterior wall. Can you just throw uh, somebody up there, Samson? <laughs> <laughs> can you Frog toss finger. me up the stairwell? <laughs> Frog fingers, I can roll. lift you up to approximately 15 feet. That's probably not high enough. Isn't... No, nah, two floors up is the next, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many feet is that? Is it like 20? <clears throat> 12, 12 feet of floor or so, if you're not counting, like, the oh, duck okay. space. Yeah. 
25 feet. I will climb it. You say give me rope? Correct. Now, rope is a fascinating issue in and of itself, right? Because generally you need to affix a rope mm -hmm. to something. And then uh, there's the whole you weigh uh, most of a ton mm -hmm. thing, too. Oh, oh, I was thinking I would climb up the elevator to shaft when I get to the top lower a rope down to help people come up oh now certainly now if you were to use oh. the cables of the elevator that would be a different story that your your weight wouldn't be an issue there if you were like all right i'm gonna toss a rope hope it sticks to something and then all right no, 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 yeah no. no all right yeah yeah okay no. it's gonna go there and basically drop the rope down and then start pulling people up okay yeah <laughs> fantastic so uh pry open the elevator doors no problem pitch black no elevator in sight it must be down at the bottom there well below the water line the cables are out in the middle of the shaft now i don't know if you've ever looked into an elevator shaft but generally you want a nice little uh jump out there all right you gotta jump you gotta snatch the cables and we need a climbing a climbing roll specifically I Excellent. I have that stat. All right, here we go. Oh. All right, so, I got a penny. Uh, athletics, or uh, the agility, rather, because there's nothing in it, for the leap and then the climbing. Oh, Got to jump out, okay, snatch, and then climb. Mm -hmm. That's a big elevator shaft. You know, it's a dramatic, mm -hmm. it's a narratively dramatic elevator shaft is what it is. Okay, it's athletics to jump out? Yeah. Oh, I don't think I want to I, do this. Athletics or agility. Take your pick. Okay, I'll do agility. Yeah, I don't have athletics. Excellent. You reach out, catch the cable. You know, it sparks up before you, uh, you know, manage to clamp down on the thing. But, uh, yeah, now a climbing roll, sir. Okay. Climbing. And it is one climbing roll. For 10 feet, so it will be two climbing rolls to fully ascend and get out. And we won't make you leap out to the door. We'll say the door is open and you're magically able to do it. So two climbing rolls, sir. Wonderful. Hand Whoa. over hand. Clunk. 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 Quite a spectacle, I imagine. Ooh, I'm going to... I don't want to fall, so... You definitely do not want to fall the now 60 feet you are. Now, it's water, right? So it has... The, well, no, because you're above the water threshold, too. Never mind. If you get above 50 feet, water doesn't help anymore. Oh, I guess I'm falling. Uh, yeah, all right. Give me, give me a second here. Oh, oh Benny for Samson. Benny. Excellent. <clears throat> Come on. Let's see. Got this skill for a reason. Right? Oh, so... Barely. Uh, uh, servos creaking. So right? Yeah, certainly. Um, This appears, as you appear into this floor, to be a surgical prep ward. There's just a couple of rooms here, and then you can see the surgical wash station, you know, another nurse's kiosk. Uh, it looks like the nurse's desk is bolted to the ground. You could do the rope. Uh, this will give okay. everybody a plus two to their climbing rolls, because you are assisted by a rope. Two climbing Please. rolls from everybody that's coming up. That's pretty much going to be the same role as me because it'll negate the untrained. Uh, is there any chance I can have them just tie off and lift them up or no? Ooh, yeah, I would let you have the number of climbing rolls with a successful strength roll for every climbing oh. roll. Okay. Climbing, I didn't remember that. Yeah, Swex. Swex breaks it into climbing, swimming. It's, it's a little <laughs> ridiculous, but... You well, apparently I took it. There you go. Boom. Huh? You said a negative two to the climbing roll? Yeah. Uh, uh, a a plus two. two with the rope. Oh, right. Negative. So if you have no climbing, it's just a four is what it'll be. But yeah, plus okay. two from the rope. Success, ah, success, success. Yeah. And I'll do a strength for all three of them? Yeah. What? Okay. Or all two of them. 
Uh, I guess I'm gonna Benny that. I don't want to fall. Can can I? Excellent. Hold them. Excellent. Oh, uh, you could technically carry Frogfinger, but the additional weight there would negate the bonus mm -hmm. from the rope. So it's. I yeah. wasn't able to. Yeah. Expel uh, on that. So let's see here. That was one, two, three strength rolls. That was St. Louis, Sabrina, and Frogfinger. That's double failures on Frogfinger on both the strength and the climbing roll so far. Uh, Benny's? Yeah, I'm going to Benny it. I don't know how you failed to strength roll to pull Frogfinger up a ball. Of I don't know. I, I got mean, a d12, yeah. If I got an That's 11, bizarre. can I take off two to say I grab Frogfinger, or do I have to roll again? So I could it, it would have to be a, it would have to be a separate I situation there. Yeah. We can't wreck the rack or wait blind ads. Did I, Samson only roll strength twice? Uh, three times, didn't no, he? No, I did it. Yeah, there was no, one I above. Did twice. I did the third. So uh, I got three and a two. I'm wasn't there a strength? Feeble. Oh no, that was the climbing. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. My so I'll just spin my thing. Benny and yeah. try again. Yep. And you'll need two climbing rolls because Samson was unable to. Uh, can I go ahead and I'll go oh ahead and okay well that's well, the critical that's... failure <sighs> it turns out the weight of all these people on this rope must have freighted it or something because Frogfinger gets the last 10 feet up or so and the rope snaps and you see his little red eyes recede down the elevator shaft as he uh pl plummets it's a critter it's oh a, my it's, he, can plum I, uh, he plummets can I spend the Benny to, to do some sort of narrative oh. Man, a critical failure, I'm afraid, yeah, guys. At the very it's least, a... uh, like, do my my uh, in-case power on my way down. Uh, Can I use my not-today card? It's a button on my chest. Well, so, uh, all right, uh, now, hold, hold on here. Give me a second. Lots of questions. Let me see the not-today here. I don't think so, because it cannot... It's a critical... Uh... This is a critical failure failure and now uh, that that makes an attack oh, roll no, critically automatically fail. failed yeah Never mind. all right so uh that's a no that's a no uh yes on the in case roll assuming you get the weird science off and let's check out falling damage nice excellent describe um, for us in case since since this is the first time i believe you have utilized it yeah so basically i just like smash a button on like my shoulder and a bunch of metal like pops out of my bag and encases my body oh, it's the uh the armor power guy. oh my goodness we don't ever have to deal with fall damage guys it's not something and then and then we and critically then we fail on top of uh hopefully, elevator like, shaft. Have different fall damage right yeah it's uh well and hopefully uh armor helps with the fall damage <laughs> well, falling oh water, my right? god water reduces by half rounded down okay cool cool all right so oh shut up google give me an agility roll at a negative two first off an agility at negative two you said yep Wonderful. All right. So, since we are using Swex and you are falling into water, you magnificent bastard, right? You, uh, so 10 feet fallen is 1d6 plus 1, right? You have fallen 50 feet. So, you can imagine, right? This could have very well been the end of Frogfinger. Fortunately, the elevator shaft is quite flooded, so it happens to be above water, and you are a quite acrobatic fellow. In Swex, when falling into water, automatically the damage is halved, right? So it would have just been 5d6, or uh, 3d6, right? Which is not necessarily fatal, you know, sans explosion. But you also have the ability to make an agility roll to dive. So what happened here was the rope snapped, you encased yourself, you rolled over, and you did the Laura Croft swan, you know, and you have splashed into the surface of the water, incurring no damage whatsoever. But, since you have fallen more than 50 feet, you are shaken. 
Which doesn't really matter because you're not in combat. So yay! <laughs> Splish! Good job, I'm failing. You hear a little... Ah, well, shit. I do not have enough rope for this. And then the, the dozens of bloats at the bottom of the elevator shaft tear you limb from limb. No, it's just, oh, no. It's just foul water. <laughs> So now we have a problem, Frog Ringer. Um. Uh, can I? <laughs> yeah, I'm shaken. First off, um, can I try? Whatever. Can so, I repair myself to get rid of shaken? Uh, vigor, How does that work? Vigor roll. Oh, just a vigor roll. Okay. Mm. Well. I'm sorry. Spirit roll for shaken. Very spirited. Yeah, unshook. Uh, you are still at the bottom of an elevator shaft now. With the cable that goes all the way back up, but it is five climbing rolls up from here. And what was the leap? Twice my pace vertically? Twice your pace vertically, yeah. But you can't leap out of water. I mean, how are you going to... Where are you going to... You well, got an elevator shaft. You got... Okay, can I do... Oh, shit, I don't have climbing at all. Hmm... This is going to be a very difficult task. Yeah, it's uh And you have the vast majority of the rope down there with you too, unfortunately, because for it to have snapped in the position you were, it was above you. Another complication, how, how guys, I did not rope? foresee. Okay, so how long is the rope and how wide is the elevator shaft? Uh, I am it, how long was the rope, guys? Who had it in their inventory? It was 20 it was not much wait that would have even hardly been enough to it wouldn't have been that's why i was having feet. trouble <laughs> damn can i like yeah. tie it to either side of the did we actually did we like... actually have rope guys or did we make up rope because we should have had a uh, length I think, on that no, right? i think st louis actually had rope from when we pulled yeah. uh what's his face's body out of the, the water the there body, at the beginning. yeah yeah he did keep it the very beginning i took the rope off the dock all right fair fair so um yeah that's not gonna work i can't like i hand you 10 feet of freight so. rope or whatever mm -hmm. um well we can walk frog. back down and get him there's a frog in my pool that's that leaps out of water all the time right right <laughs> and he's he's made out of metal and uh you know so yeah, you can I'm give a me a strength frog. roll a to attempt to pry open the elevator doors and then walk from the morgue back up the entire length of the hospital to the two floors below again and, you know, try and figure out just two climbing rolls. But, uh, yeah. Um, Those are pretty much your I two like, options at this okay, point. Or you okay, die at the bottom I, of an elevator shaft. I mean, it's... it's well, a, can, can, I, can, we, can I do a thing or ask a thing? Mm -hmm. If we're already up on the seventh floor, can I look for a fire hose? Like, well, you know how they excellent. have fire hoses yeah, in yeah, the wall? Yeah, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Uh, why don't you... Man, there really needs to be, like, some kind of luck thing. Um, flat notice, yeah. Okay. Nope, I'm fatigued. You do I fine. Can binny, I can binny it. There Let we me go. See. If, if that doesn't work, I'm probably just going to try climbing halfway up and leaping the rest of the way. Yeah, do I notice what he's doing? Like, can I... It is a pitch black elevator shaft 50 feet straight down. There is not... No, I mean, you just... Are you alive down there? You know. I got a six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so I... Yeah, let's see. Uh, what? Now, these fire houses... Now, if uh, Die Hard is any indicator, there is mm. at least 100 feet of hose. Um... <laughs> So this is good to have a fire hose, but oh, because you can drop it down and try and pull him up. There you go. It's like it's it's still, it's still climbing. Yeah, go ahead, throw that shit down there. Well, I was gonna see if I could throw it down there, and then we could try to reel him up. Yeah, see if you hit him in the head with the nozzle, knock him out. What am I doing? Uh. Oh, just you're just tossing a hose down there. You found the hose. It ain't no thing. It's hooked to the wall. So. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't. Here, stand aside. I'm gonna try not to hit you with this. And so is it, do I roll anything? No, no, no or... it's just, it's just okay, you know, cool. you're just tossing. It, I don't think there should be a roll for tossing a hose down a hole. <laughs> I, you I know? was hoping I couldn't fail that. All right. <laughs> I'm out of the way. But I'm going to need an agility roll from Frogfinger to avoid taking a nozzle to the face. No, it's fine. Hose, <laughs> you get splash. 
No, I like it too much. Yeah, all right. Right. yeah, yeah. Bop's out of the way. Yeah, you can wrap it up. Uh, two strength rolls, Samson, to pull him up. Can I get assistance? It you seems help. like difficulty last time. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, somebody want to assist? All right, strength roll from you. Oh, so close to the double. Uh, yeah, that is a single success plus two on your strength roll. Nice. Plus two is not bad. There we go. Oh, a success and a ray. Hell, you, you yank him up in the one go there, and we'll say rays on it. Yay, crisis averted. Whoa. Little tiny he just frog like buddy. brushes himself off when he gets up to the top. It's like, whoa, that was an adventure. He meant to do that. Much more sturdy than rope. I remember that next time. See, they had to make it that way. So, oh, well, you should know you're a you're a soldier. <laughs> I wasn't a firefighter. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure you understand about like double weaves and all kinds of stuff. And yes, I have common sense and knowledge. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> so yeah, this floor. Uh, it was clearly the ICU, surgical ward, right? Uh, that's where the operating theater, uh, you know. Uh, the ICU rooms uh, appear mostly evacuated. It looks like the uh, main machinery was taken out and the calamity hit this region. But there's still enough little bits of bed frame, you know, IV bags, this and that, to make out the function of this place previously. Uh, and ominously... As you approach the back, the darkest part of the hospital, there is clearly light coming from the scrub room that leads to the operating theater. And as you close, faint traces of classical music being played over a tinny speaker. Question, did we hear any music like that on the video of Dana Croix? Oh, fuck, probably. Honestly, that give me a smart roll. Hell, you recognize the tune even. Ah, uh, this is Night on uh, Baldy Mountain. Dun dun <laughs> dun dun, the, dun dun. This is the dance of hours. It was mm -hmm. a lovely ballet. <laughs> That's right. He's just rocking out to Fantasia in there. Just <laughs> yeah, he's just got his Disney soundtracks like on. <laughs> While St. Louis is doing that, I'm going to reload the atomizer and then try and sneak towards the that direction. Yeah. That is fantastic. The uh, scrub room door itself appears to be, like, rusted on the hinges. One of the doors rests flatly and the slot on the wall, and the other one sits slightly ajar where the light spills out. Also noteworthy, even sans a notice roll, is the incredible stench. Almost like a wall of it that hits you as you approach the back half of this floor. Decay well, and kind of... death. Yeah, I mean... Um, yeah, so I kind of... So I sneak up and then peek through the door. Uh, you... Stealthily, he, by the way. Well, give me a stealth roll, bud. I already did. Boom, sure enough, you did. Yeah, you, uh, peek through the door stealthily. There is a large bloated corpse standing in the middle of what apparently is the scrub room for the mm -hmm. surgical ward. Uh, it's now a shambles, mind you. The broken sinks, burst pipes, the ceiling's crumbling in. Mm -hmm. Uh... He appears to be gently swaying with the music, though. I, uh, <clears throat> you know, hold my hand up like one enemy. And, you know, just a whole bunch of, like, random gestures that I'm sure no one will right. understand. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, you guys don't speak frog code. Like, where did Bastion come from? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hey, guys, I'm not actually blown up. <laughs> No, he did. You thought that, thought that Adam Warbot was him. Oh. Right? <laughs> I finally revealed my final form. 
Oh my god, what if Adam failed to teleport correctly and actually fused them together in some kind of Cronenbergian nightmare? We'll let Carolyn die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, yep. I'm St. Louis is is creeping up. Creeping, peep peeping. Yeah, same stench, same uh swaying horror. Another one of those bloat creatures in there. Hasn't noticed either of you yet. Frogfinger turns his volume knob from 11 to 1. <laughs> what do you guys see? see? No, no, he doesn't. No. Wrong way. <laughs> um, yeah. One question for you. Is the only way to reduce fatigue is by... Uh, like, my healing would not do it. Right? Uh, That's the only in way. addition to that, the... Uh, kind of fatigue you got from there can only be removed after four hours of rest. Okay, that's yeah, what I wanted to make sure. Because cool. of the failure on the faith roll. Normally there's a there's a power called sucker. There's a few things you can do that remove fatigue, but uh, yeah, in the case of the failed faith roll, it requires four hours of solid rest and meditation on why God abandoned you. Or, well, I guess not God in your case. It's weird. Your faith thing is so weird. Like, Normally there's a deity, not necessarily the Templars. I just didn't believe in myself enough. My uh, self-esteem failed me. So guys, All we right. got a bloat. Now this room is pretty narrow and long, you know, 30, 40 feet long, probably just 15 feet across. You know, it's a bunch of sinks, a bunch of surgical gowns, that kind of thing. Again, falling into great disrepair, but it's a pretty confined space if you're going to be tackling uh, one of these fellers. Well, I am still back because I assume they were all sneaking up to look in there. What is it that they call that tissue? That the fat people that die in water. It's like <clears throat> adipocur or something like that. It turns to soap. It's gross, but yeah. Um, I'm going to. Uh, not that repentance hasn't already been in its sheath, but I'm definitely not holding it uh, or my stop sign. Okay. Uh, and I am going to take out my crossbow. Roger, Roger. Let me, um, I'm not going to fire it yet, but I need to adjust my, but I'm going to basically be like, it's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel. I don't think we should go in melee if we don't have to. Yeah, I hear her say that, or him say that, and I'm going to walk up and uh, behind to watch. Get a, a bit of view. wet flatulence comes from the bloat. Man, and toes bothered you? <laughs> with, his, with his volume knob set to no, to one. I'd like you to go first, yeah. yeah. What was that you said? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, where's, where's... I, I he's hanging back. Came through. Did you did you hear me? Yeah, he did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I would I would actually rather frog finger tried to atomize it before <laughs> I fire my crossbow in there. Um, yeah, yeah, frog finger's gonna try to now if you're trying to the atomize charging a shot the whole foot as opposed to just the toe. It's not quite as difficult. That happens at a negative four, but. The thing hasn't noticed you, so you also got the drop. Which is a plus four? Yes, it is. Ooh. Okay, so just a flat even. Yes, sir. All right. Now, mind you, you have to do enough damage to actually add a my said foot, but... Um, and, so he's uh, gonna... it is not silent. <laughs> Well, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna use the. He's he holds the trigger down and charges it, mm -hmm. and he's gonna aim at the foot. And when he lets go, two bolts come out. Oh yeah, you, you done deal, huh? Mm -hmm. Fuck your foot, fat man. Uh, it's, <laughs> oh, there's the bloat. Okay. I'll say. Good lord, that was unnecessary. All right, let's get damage against his freshly atomized foot. <laughs> So there's the first one. Oh. 
explosions yeah no there it is now now the dice are working uh yeah he was standing there swaying gently to the classical music sways the weight off his foot his foot is missing goes to put the weight down on the foot and just deadenly collapses in a heap the that tile me hurt. right the, the tile around it shatters and uh you know the uh shot echoes throughout the floor and suddenly record scratch the classical music stops players skipped or there's somebody else in this room <laughs> well, yeah. the jig is up so i'm going to slowly I, start moving up to get closer to them i pull the door closed as soon as the record <laughs> scratches <laughs> that'll that'll do it that, that that you solved it I like it. Yeah, that, that that fixed it. Never mind, we're good. Yeah. We weren't here. Yeah, we we've we've seen enough. We're good. <laughs> Thank Can you. Can you lock it through with a weird science roll? All right. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know, GM. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, you can't even really pull it properly closed all the way. It's rusted in position, but. You can close the door. You you lean through to take the shot, though the one that was <laughs> resting flat. Yeah, that, that, that's just... what I meant. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Stand on the other side of the door, just around the corner, with my machete out, waiting. We hear, do I hear anything from inside the room now? Ah, uh, you do not. No. Well. So this was the scrub room, right? This yeah. was not the this was not the actual operating room. No, it, one of the entrances appears to lead to the OR, which is also the the <clears throat> obvious source of the light. Now that you're in the scrub room as well. Might I make a cautionary suggestion? Never. Please. Being that this Delacroix seems to control the dead. Perhaps it would be unwise for me to get within his vicinity in the event he has some ability to control me. That is a very, very good thought. What, so, makes, you th what makes you think I would do something well, like that to you? I mean, well, guys, well. I guess if know. he got a, a tag on you, perhaps. <clears throat> because that's, that's where his power is drawn from. I mean, if we could keep him away but I would suggest staying your distance I will but I will come to your aid if needed yeah um snipe if you can hmm. if you don't mind getting he this pulls out the on. shotgun that, that with the five shells in it so he's got a machete in one hand the shotgun in the other I don't even know what kind of shotgun that was uh now where where did where did you get that shotgun from from town no oh. it was from on the boat it was on the now boat. they had the bang sticks on bang the sticks. boat the sh the shotgun shell on the end of the spear that they use for like underwater i don't where think that was the a shotgun from? i thought you got one of the shotguns from town because somebody they, they were, were oh, pump, that's where they it were was. pump I shotguns in town pump shotguns okay and I've still got that on me. <clears throat> There's um, just so many shotguns in the book. I don't know which one to drag in. They're just a pump shotgun in there? Okay, I'm going to find out. I think so. Yeah, they pump action. There's a yep. pump action. There you go. That's yeah. the one. Okay. Well, um, yeah. Oh. Well, go ahead. go in there, can we keep an eye out for, uh, say, his book, his, his, uh, his spell book? I, I would like to uh, to grab that and make sure, you know, he can't get it again. Yeah, and St. Louis is thinking that looking for his office might be smart, but he, we've already kind of let people know that we're here. Mm -hmm. Big so, old gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I am going to look at Sabrina and be like, you got them skulls ready? How'd I do? I say we, yeah, we at least go, Is so there's light coming from the door, is that, does that mean the door is open to the OR, or is there like a window? Uh, it has one of those little circle windows, windows. you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'm going to approach the door. Mm -hmm. um, is there a window in this room? I know in uh, doctor shows, because I watch a lot of that shit, uh -huh. there's usually a window into the OR from the, from the scrub room. Uh, no, there's one in the, there's like a viewing gallery on the floor above oh. in this instance. It's one of the old timey, you know, like, like but, uh, medical but the yeah. scrub room is, it doesn't have no, visible no. access. Okay. The, uh, there is the window on the door. Uh, as you approach okay. the door, uh, your footsteps start to uh, stick on the ground. And as you look down, it's covered mm. with a thick layer of black gore, uh, this has been a well-used operating theater and a poorly yeah. cleaned one. Uh, lots of ichor, as it is. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to do my best to remain fairly stealthy mm -hmm. with, with sticky shoes. Um, but yeah, and then I just kind of want to very carefully try to get line of sight through the window. I don't want to put my head up to the window, mm -hmm. but I kind of want to lean off to the side and see if I can't try to see anybody in there or movement or shadows. Yeah, uh, you do not see anybody in the operating theater save for the person lying on the table. Uh, you do not recognize them uh, as the skin has been flayed from their face and there is an autopsy incision. But you do vaguely recognize the outfit and the parts that have not been cut away as one of the fellows from town. Perhaps Henry, was it? Yeah, it looks as though he has been uh, grizzlified. Mm -hmm. Is there a toe tag on his foot? There is not. It appears <clears throat> you might have interrupted that procedure, at least from where you can tell in your vantage point, with the dirty glass of the OR uh, door. Okay. Um, do I happen to see if there's another point of, uh, like there's another door in there? There is. There is a door on the back wall. Okay. I'm going to look at, I'm going to kind of step out of the light of the window and relay that to everybody. Be like, be on the lookout for somebody coming behind us. There is another door, just in case. Primitive, I will stay here and be watchful. Um, y'all want me? To... Yeah. Do you want you want to go in with me, Sabrina? Yep. Let's do this. Crack All right. Both. I'm gonna go ahead and pull re uh, uh, repentance. Mm-hmm. And uh, count of three and three, one, two, three, and kick burst the door in. open. Yeah. Oh, I bet the hospital explodes. No. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> you, uh, you know, enter the uh, surgical ward, sort at the ready, sweeping in rapidly, and there is no sound, no nothing. The smell in here is even fouler. Uh, not just the fresh coppery smell of the blood from the recently autopsied Henry, but that fetid decaying stench that uh, causes you to cast your glance around as your eyes train up to the theater seats overlooking the surgical ward that are packed full of bloats. Perhaps oh. two dozen of them staring down at the ward motionlessly. Give me a notice roll, St. Louis. In addition to the bloats, right, you make out a scrawny elderly fellow mixed in with them, the fresh wise from his anatomical incision apparent on his bare torso. Uh, in your horror, you come to realize you recognize the beard and then the facial features and the sunken cheekbones, that of your mentor and companion, Ishmael. Do I need to roll a spirit roll or anything? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this would probably be pretty fucky. Yeah, that's fair. Give me a fucky roll. Yeah, but, I mean, you knew the second you saw his tabard and his sword oh. that he was dead. You know? Well, at least he doesn't have his sword. 
I mean... He doesn't me. have his sword. He does, uh, however, appear to have a rifle. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, he's not trained in ranged weapons. We might be all right, but I'd pack up, pack up, pack up. What did I say? Let's move, uh... You... At least they're... Uh, hear the speaker in the corner uh, fizz and crackle to life. As it powers on, the lights in the room dim is also being powered by the same, uh, you know, energy source. And you hear, Ah! Unexpected visitors! More experiments, and a herald amongst you. Hmm. Delectable. He will be most divine. There are a couple of ways we can proceed here, yeah? You can give me your herald and leave of your own volition, or I can take him with my subjects and continue my experimentations. You have, how you say, wandered into the spider's web! Said that in my life, sir? Can you hear me? Can he hear me? Uh, yeah, you assume he must be able to. It's a, it's a two. It's a two. It's a two-way communicator. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's a two-way uh, tinny speaker. We've made quick work of of three of your creations. Bring it the fuck on, son. Oh my! Oh my! Uh, <laughs> I do not like your foul language. And I will take your hair and your lights. And with that, at once, every bloat in the operating theater stands up, right? And there is a tremendous rumbling as they turn and all start to run towards what you are assuming the exits leading to the surgical ward. We got a lot of company, y'all. Now, incoming. can I hear you from out in the main area? We're yelling it. You We're guys okay. have taken out three bloats. Three. Right, we're talking a couple of dozen and whatever's happened to Ishmael, right? Not to mention we have no idea where Delacroix is at this point and uh, whether or not he has, uh, is he's lurking behind you guys all scalpily. I do want you guys to know he's totally wearing that surgical outfit with the button across. He has literally described the big reflector like he's that nice. guy, you know, even though so it's 2090. Like he looks like Steinman from Bioshock. Yeah, yeah, it's very Steinman. Yes, exactly. But me um, I would not generally. I'm not sure that I've done a fair job of emphasizing the danger. Now, I did mention earlier, if you'll recall, that these bloats um, underwater are one thing. Sure. And then above water are a different thing. We've had the drop on them above water so far, and we've had some pretty exceptions. There were some exploding dice involved in that. If I toss 24 bloats in the combat tracker, right, and they come pouring through die. these doors in mass, this is not a scenario sure. that shakes out in your favor, especially since upon becoming adjacent with you, their stench ability kicks in for uh, a fair half the party, which is a bad, it's just, it's a bad scene. So, we have a few recourses here, right? We can uh, attempt to impede their progression, right? A dilapidated building, all of that, right? We could uh, stand and uh, you shall not pass against the tide of enormously bloated, fetid corpses, right? Or we can get the fuck out of Dodge and consider, oh, maybe we go get that cannon, right? And we just aim it at the hospital. I mean, lots of options here. Guys, I'm, let's go back to the gun and shoot it at the hospital. <laughs> we need to kite them. If anything, we need to, like, not let them get near us. Let's run. Let's try to pick them yeah. off as they come after. If, if, we we if need that... to get out of here. I, I have no more ammo for the atomizer. Now. Are you out? Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, as you were like, bring it, you motherfucker! And Frogfinger's like, uh, yeah, I mean, could you, uh, uh. <laughs> my, my, my thinking, my thinking was that even if we were in this room, 24 bloats cannot en masse enter this room. 
And so they have a single width wide point of entry. Two, technically, but yeah. Two, but, you know, perhaps we could barricade one. Um, And then they would essentially be funneled in like, you know, How much do you think 24 bloats weighs? Yeah, but, you know. Now, this building here, right, not in the best shape. Right, let's say each one of these things is 500 pounds of waterlogged tissue, right? We do a little head math there. And we start to think about this incredible mass of humanity, right? And now there are some options that we have not used yet in Savage Worlds that I'm going to highlight, specifically breaking things, right? Now, this situation here, Right, uh, you can funnel them into two doorways and we can go through the combat of you trying to cut off their toes individually <laughs> in this situation while the stench overpowers you, right? Or we can figure out a way to damage the structural integrity of the building or hopefully maybe just the part of the building they're in, right? And, uh, you know, get rid of 24 bloats with a little bit of breaking things. I have an idea. What if somehow we were able to uh, trick them into following us into the elevator shaft? That's another suggestion there. Maybe put, everybody the hide, hose. but you put frog no. finger at the far end, just Can flipping we them off. I'll pretty much run up there and jump up there, use strength. I mean, we've got some time now. We could uh, get the slower people up there and then fire down. Now... You're suggesting okay. that given all the experience we've had with this elevator shaft so That's far true. today. Put, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there is the Can very turn on the fire hose? <laughs> busted out southeast wall, right? And the weathered broken tile over there, right? Should we manage to kite them to the ruined area of the building, we could perhaps hit the floor. Now, if we're attacking an inanimate object, it has a parry of two. Because you can fuck up even hitting an inanimate object, right? Now, a floor, normally a very resolute, very strongly built thing, especially in a multi-story structure, right? This one's been blown to shit, earthquake, weatherized, right? So instead of the typical 15 toughness that we would find on a floor, right? This floor is 8 toughness. I'm going to start punching the floor. Well, now, okay, so... Mm-hmm. Yes, I mean that's that's one way we could go about it. Now, um, I just the mental image of like these things tumbling down the stairs, the whole building's rumbling from the weight, and Samson goes, "No!" and starts hammering the ground. Now, oh. like, uh, we have some AOE, right? We have some magical users. We have some like, uh, you I'm know. Also, gonna ask: Are there any tanks in here? Like, like, gat, like, uh oxygen tanks or nitrous tanks or stuff like that that would be Notice used in surgical... Okay. I'm gonna binny it. Alrighty. Thank There are a couple of tanks in there, but they're clearly depressurized. You know, it's been years okay. now. Yeah. Okay. That was Explosive thought. Mm-hmm. Does nobody have any explosives? Just oh, I, I just I built the character as a and strength like to punch walls down and Yeah, stuff, definitely. So now just, the only problem with you punching and... the floor, <clears throat> right? I mean you could definitely try and beat the floor's toughness of eight. Unfortunately, it's the same goddamn thing you're standing on, isn't it? Well, that's why well in the theater of mine I can't see the room, but there's a door frame, uh-huh. and I know architecture. There are usually separate floors on each side of a door frame, with the lentil and the cross beams. So if I stand in the door frame and then step stomp down on the other side that they're on, I can cause the floor on that side to collapse, because each wall with a door frame is extra supportive. Yeah, I, um, that's how. Huh. That's how 
carpentry and construction works. Yeah, I just, I, I'm not seeing the nearly ton tall dude punching the floor and having the part he's standing on. You know, like, it just doesn't, it doesn't track. There is no, um, they have two ways to get to you, Rue. Uh, there are two stairways that lead down into the backside of the operating theater. Sure. There's okay. no way for them to flank behind you, though. Okay, like, that you're, was my you're... concern, is that there was an access to the viewing gallery from somewhere else. No, your path to the elevators, to anywhere you've been in the hospital, as far as you are aware, is unobstructed. Okay. Now, mind you, there's the whole 20-foot elevator shaft to get down to the fifth floor from where mm -hmm. you're at now, or an exterior climb, because the stairwells have collapsed, but... Right. Um, so... Uh, can the operating table be moved? Now, that's an excellent question. I think they are... Well, now, fuck, are they? I, I know the know bed, the gurneys are. are. I, I, yeah, I, I don't wanna... know if the older ones are. I think it's, like, fixed in the center of a room, right? Like, that's, yeah. you know, if it's got the big theater thing mm -hmm. going on there, it strikes me as though it would be, like, centerpiece kind of deal. According to these pictures on Google, they are literally just a wooden table sitting in the middle of the room. Yeah. All right, then fuck it, yeah. Uh, I want to push, I'm going to, you know, let's push this in front of the one door that we see. That we know of, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Like there's, there would become, uh, there's, there's two the ghosts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's push this in front of one of them. All right. Start pushing uh, it over. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, if we if we need to get out of here, let's. Let's do it, but this will stymie him for a little bit anyway. Mm -hmm. I'll take some out, hopefully. So, um, I mean, like, Screaming Skull, when boosted, will definitely do eight damage. You know, like, uh, yeah. uh, we've suggested, like, punching the floor and blocking off the floor. Like, we have some means to do the damage we need. To collapse the section of the floor, you know. Yeah. And we're talking the floor in front of the door, or are we talking the floor that well, in the dilapidated well, part I, of the building? That's the thing. You do the damage, and then it's a it's a dice roll to see how much the floor goes. That's the. Okay. I mean, we can we can try to stop them here and just get them to fall, also, so we get more time to look around. And remember, one d six plus one per ten feet. Uh, it doesn't matter if they've got toe tags on if they're puddles, you know? Sure. Well, even just getting them off of, uh, or out of a place where they could get us. That's and getting true. getting us out of, out of their reach, essentially, and away from their stench. If you got they, them literally just one floor below you, the problem would solve yeah, itself, be, for sure. Yeah, we'd be fine. Mm -hmm. And then we might just be dealing with, um... I mean, St. Louis, honestly, uh, I'll be honest, wants to get Ishmael's body... Mm -hmm. just because of the, the oaths and things. Um, if we didn't get him now, eventually he would probably ask to come back or try to come back, I think. They are to be buried in their creche. It's kind of part of the deal. Although the tabard and the sword does suffice. Like, does it? Okay. Mm -hmm. In a pinch. Yeah. I would, I would, I would like to try. You 100% but... need the tabard and sword. Those are... Yeah, and those are back at the stacks. Those are back at the stacks, yeah. Unless you... Now, did you pack... Oh. I don't remember if you packed it up with you or not. I took them with me. Yeah, well, then you have them. I don't yeah, know. They're in I the mean, hover car or I, whatever. Yeah, I don't know if I specifically said, hey, I'm carrying these in my satchel, but I took I took them and put them with my belongings. Mm-hmm. That tracks. So I'm... I will do whatever y'all want me to do. But I, I would like to try to get that body if I can. Do, and I make that plea to y'all. Do what we have to blow the floor now. Let's, let's do it. <clears throat> Whatever I can do to help. I ask specifically to point it out where, and then... Other side of the door. Gonna tell them to stand back. All right, Sabrina. So, um... We're gonna need your, uh, to hit on a two with your Screaming Skull. Okay, and... Uh, and then you're going to need to beat an eight to uh, collapse the floor. 
We have hit the floor, thankfully, yeah. which... Right. <laughs> and yeah, all right, here we go, guys. This is fine. This Open. is fine. All right. Now, I am assuming everybody is standing behind Sabrina, and Sabrina is standing like 20 feet away from the spot on the floor that she's breaking, right? Yeah, that's why I was like, just point it out. Okay, excellent. excellent. And every, everybody, Come again, back. factually now, Act up. is behind. Yeah, All right. I'm, I'm with the group. Wherever Samson's at, I'm where I'm at. Cool. Sure. That made me nervous for a second. Excellent. Yeah. So, uh, the floor, right? There's, you hit the ground on the spot there, the Screaming Skull. You know, pff, there's a little smoldering, and it looks like nothing's going to happen, right? And then it starts to uh, vibrate a little. You hear a little tinkle, and then a crack, right? And you feel the whole floor you're on shift about six inches to the east, right? And it starts to collapse, <laughs> cascading outward. Just as the first bloat rounds the corner and pushes into the OR to tumble on the floor below, he hits the floor below and goes right through it. Crash, 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 crash. At least four floors from the weight of his body. Several of the other bloats, right, are unable to stop their momentum and find themselves tumbling and pushed over the edge. All right, uh smattering and after uh, a couple more hit the floor another floor gives way below and it is apparent now that that whole quarter of the hospital seems to be caving in on itself right you hear creaking and groaning as the drop panels start to fall from the floor above and the walls start to lever over at a sickening angle in relation to the spot you are on and it is apparent that perhaps this building is not long for this world not the screaming skulls so much as the several 500 pound meat bombs hurtling into the uh, you know architecture below and with the rumble and quake it is apparent that next week we're going to be dramatic tasking our fucking way out of here as this Indiana Jones-esque series of foibles, uh, you know, spirals out of control in a, uh, a horrific fashion. But yeah, resolved nothing, only created more problems. But yeah, I mean, yeah. technically, you don't have to fight like 20 bloats. So, I mean, that's good, right? Now, you did technically fight, like, 20 bloats, you know, with one single spell. It might be the most effective spell that's ever been cast in the entirety of our time here at Savage Worlds. But, yeah, that's it tonight, guys. That's it. They're going to have to escape a falling hospital via dramatic task, which is awesome. It's going to have some narrative flair and some fun. I'm going to try and make things, like, uh, explode behind them, you know? Like, they'll be running down the corridor and the walls will be... It'll be neat. But you'll have to stay tuned to see if they all survive that. Seven floors up. It's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. And the elevator shaft being the... That's the... Now, I suppose you could just blast another hole in the floor and then just do the 10-foot drop down to the floor below. But some of them yeah, bloats are still there. Right? Oh, and you have the fire hose. Lots of good mm -hmm. options. Hell, you could just throw yourself out of the building and hope that you jump far enough to hit the water. Right? All kinds of fun stuff. But with that, we're going to leave you. Thank you for watching this evening. We appreciate each and every one of you here at the League of Rackhand Tour Explorers. And may your dice always roll hot. Have a great night, guys. Cheers. <laughs>